And we're back. Well, back uh, in the world of... I'm sure I named this place, but I'd say it's it's passing me now. Uh, no, no, I can't. I, okay, the world of here. Uh, the God world <laughs> in conflict. There we go. Yes. I just like to call it regret. Yes. Uh, well, you, you can name it regret after you're done with everything. <laughs> you'll, you'll own the lot of it. Uh, but yes, so, as people may be able to see, I have set up a wonderful situation where the the whole of three ports can now be moved. And I am, despite the, uh, uh, hang on, I'm going to show the nameplate, so if you want to name it at all, but despite my best uh, ideas... Everyone can now control three port. Oh no. <laughs> oh, sir, you give me too much power. <laughs> so, oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> oh, there it goes. Straight to his house. Oh no, it's going right for it. I can't stop it, guys. We're crashing right into it. So, we're agreed if we're ever in a situation where we can't win, we're taking them out with us. Yeah, come on, guys. We catch fire and blow them up. Oh, Good. God. Glad we're on the same page. You're gonna what's now green fire like the entire underground area and just. I think we'll just. Scorch what we'll do <laughs> is Quentin will protect the city and Kara will throw me while I throw her at the general. It'll be fine. Oh dear. It'll be fine. Okay, so, uh, uh, Prof, uh, one thing that you do have to do that the others have done already that uh, you you weren't here for that at the moment is um. You have received, because of the month that you have had getting everything sorted, um, you have received a, another uh, load of Dominion. Ooh, the amount how much? The, it should have amount per month. As um, There is a category, for, uh, for a column for that, yeah. Yes, uh, that should be, I think, two for you. Okay. Because you're a bit... Um, you're, you're a bit more open, but also you're you know very vengeful so it it you have particular wants so to say no <laughs> which i believe makes my new total 26 then uh yes i do hope you're spending some of it but uh... yeah i've only got a few points left it's all been mm. going into various i don't know quality of life for the people thing so uh, it's it's less about the vengeance, more about free pairs for the masses. I, I would actually oh. like to uh, cover with a lot of you what you've been doing for this past month in the city. So, uh, Prof, if you since you led there, let, let's go start with you. Well, you'll have to stop me if and when I run out of time to do the things I was proposing to do. But in order of uh, priority. Hmm. Priority one was to... I'm not going to read out all the crap I've written here. I will yeah. summarize for the sake of brevity. Mm -hmm. Basically, all of the trees and the avenues of the city now will grow fruit or veg on demand for people who are genuinely actually hungry and will fade away if people try to be dicks and capitalists and hoard the fruits. Mm. <laughs> like how we had to separate the dicks and capitalists when they just yeah. say the same thing. But you said it, not me, but yeah. I always say it. Uh, uh, so yes, once that's all set up, I mean, I imagine that probably took the least amount of time because I'd already done the initial bit of it by making all the lands fertile and all that business. Yeah. Uh, my next project, and this may be the one that took time, was mm. making it so that bad weather will never trouble our lovely fine city. Yeah, that probably took a bit of time because you're basically, um, you probably stood, uh, in uh, a similar... Basically, I had a uh, staring contest with the weather. Uh, the I weather, won. yeah, the weather blinked. So... <laughs> <laughs> Damn! You, you looked out into the, the, the ocean storms in the distance, and they didn't move closer. And that's, uh, yeah, that's a hell of a feat, trust me. Uh... Uh, the wording for this one was pretty brief, just because I... Mm probably want to expand the effects later on. Now, the city is not troubled by any bad weather, its mm. passage through the air is not impacted by poor weather, nor are the inhabitants troubled or harmed by it. Okay. So, there we go. Okie doke. Uh... Um, this is probably something the three of us will have to 
talk about a little bit uh, as far as that temple goes because that's the last thing I had my list so the next thing after that was pestering the bard for a list of potential recruits for my uh, storytellers Mm. yeah okay Um, the yeah the bard would be able to in fact because it's a godly like a, a godly effort it wouldn't even be like uh, it, it wouldn't be like, oh, here's a list, because that's something you could just ask of her. So she does actually start preparing to teach people. Yes, yeah, yes, she, yes, yes. So she's and a, those mm-hmm. who are suitable can be blessed by me to not be troubled by things like walking and mm. getting tired, because that's for other people to worry about, not us. Okie doke. So yeah. I have a real um, question for you here, Prof. Hmm? Are we going to give them flying birds? That's a really good idea. We should. <laughs> I will make it happen. Oh dear. Um, so yeah, you can definitely. Uh, you'll have been starting to set up uh, a school then in that period. Uh, is there anywhere that you'd want to teach them? Maybe in in your. Um... Either at the swamp, mm. my 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 tugboat swamp, or at the part of the temple that's my bit of it. Probably that one because. We sh- presumably we're going to collaborate a little bit in this because I think I, we mentioned the possibility of them also being army recruiters later on. Mm. If that's still a thing that it, our dear Justice is interested in, I haven't. Oh, just the the idea that uh, uh... my storytellers could also function as well army recruiters and scouts, I guess as well. Absolutely, I was thinking of something similar. I was wondering how we would handle that, though. Um, it's it's just something that you could uh, utilize because I mean you don't need to spend because you're both in the same, um, uh, both in the same kind of you know, uh, da 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 group. Da, sorry, the, the, the pantheon. Yeah, the PC just came up with. Uh, we want to start restarting your computer now. It's like, oh god. Oh no. Why must you be like this? Um, okay, okay, okay. It's going to, I've set it to like midnight or something, and I'll be disappointed when the computer shuts off at me at midnight. Um, so yeah, uh, definitely you'd be able to do that. I wouldn't even have you spend Dominion for it because it's like one of you's a war and one of you's got journeying and like you know, doing the storytelling. It's it's not uh, you know it's not unfeasible to just send people out with like you know potential guarding parties uh, or like you know or, or uh, explorers kind of thing so absolutely uh, actually mm. that was some like prof go first of course yeah the only other thing i had to say is my, my basic well at least Kara's basic conceit of this thinking is uh, you know someone from a very close knit background very much defined by their culture we need to start working on our myth and we need to start disseminating it to the people so as much as they're out there to gather the stories of others Mm. and thereby work as our spies they will also spread word of us and what we stand for oh not so much like like people that go out and like recruit like like a combination of like disseminating saboteurs but without Mm. Explosive more just with words. Yeah, yeah like, um, there's, a, I forget the word for it. Was it like, uh, not information bombing? There is a term for this, and I've totally forgot. Uh, saturation? Yeah, yeah, something like that. It's like just spreading the word. Like, you know, this is actually what people used to hire ninjas for. Yeah. So there exactly are ninjas. I, I am fine with that. I would also argue that you've just made a small army of hogs. I know, Wrong. but I don't want you to ever say that again. <laughs> you know, I was looking at a picture of Hog the other day, and I was like, how does anyone trust someone who looks like they're such a homeless person? I, I showed them that um, Yeah, I was going to say, you, do you mean the person or the character? Uh, like, hmm. No, the, the um... Found something really evil we could do to Oh, you mean Hog? If you even have to think of him as a homeless person, <laughs> maybe you should take off his shoes more. Uh... What? uh what was that, Pip? The so evil. I found out that I had uh, I can take a power that's called the Nightingale Song, and if we imbued that on the storytellers, they can just like sing songs and imbue ideas into people's head. 
you definitely. This is that's something. something that's something I was to. thinking about. Is that I'm, not, I'm sorry, brain damage. Is it with despite all the war sword protection stuff? I was thinking that um something about the voice rather than the uh, the force. Hmm. Uh, never mind. No, no, it 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 definitely could work. Like you know, you've you've got um. I mean, there's a reason why I gave you that uh, yelling sword. It's because part of uh, an army, part of the war, is recruiting. It's going out there. It's, like, um, doing more than just, like, rolling people up into a ball and shoving them up the enemy kind of thing. It's, you know, uh, and a war means a cause. And between you... Uh, you know, the traveling bards of Kera and um, Quinton's uh, words of the bird bird, bird, word, bird is the word um, uh, you will be able to produce a horrifically charming group mm -hmm. people that have to be listened to people that cannot be resisted mm -hmm. and they're very beautiful is that what the fertility word does? I completely forgot um, if not it beautiful, fucks. then definitely full of life. Like, you know... Charismatic. Mm. That's what we use that word. Yeah. Yeah, that, that, that's a good one. Uh, like, you, you you can make... Uh, like, you, you could make, like, the... the Just a... A, a, a special squad. The fucking A-team. <laughs> yeah. You, you could... You the could... A-team of seditionists. I like it. Yeah, and hell, you could... If you want to plan this... You could like move them into a city that you don't even visit, and you will have allies by the time you hit that city. I like that idea. Self-esteem team. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get that from Christian camp. <laughs> oh god. Um, um. Yeah, I wouldn't mind putting some points to make that work anyway. I mean, if you, I didn't have if you and Quinton both wanted to pop some points in, then I can have you guys make the A team. I mean, oh, for now, I think I, my ideal goal would be to allow them to use feathered mantle. I can just, like, if they want, transform into birds and travel that way. Mm. That's a good one. You can also or, give them the uh, the base version of your word, right? The, yeah. the bound stuff, where you can, they fly, you know? Oh, yeah, that, that's a greater gift. Oh, it's a greater gift? Oh, okay. Never yeah. Mind. yeah so that's the... why I'm thinking, like, okay, we can just make them transform into whatever bird they want. I, oh, I, I swear, that sounds like a... Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Fuck that. It's got gone. Because, yeah, that, that could help them either escape problems like, okay, they got thrown in jail or whatever. Oh, that's a small window. Boom, small bird. Away we go. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it's much more seek sneaky, isn't it? Where they just, like, turn into birds and no one knows how they're getting around. Mm. Yeah, it could yeah, be there's that. There's a or... lot more pigeons, though. You're making some Sunday. fucking ninjas here, you lot. Yeah, we're gonna give them some superpowers, that's for sure. The social well, ninjas. If you have a question more to do with mechanics than anything else. Yes. Uh, the, sorry, this is the last thing I have to say, and then I will shut up and let the both of you go. I, I do apologize. Mm. Um, if I expanded the scope of... I, I basically have uh, the storytellers thing as a citywide thing. If I increase the scope to the region, just so they can recruit potentials themselves as well... Mm. Um, that would cost the last of my dominion. Do I have the time to do that? Is it something um, I want to do? It's something that you could definitely set up. Yes, I okay, think uh, cool. as you're because I'm, I'm what I'm doing as well is that you guys don't sleep. None of you sleep, so you effectively work at kind of twice the speed of a lot of um, regular stuff. Because most, yeah. yeah, yeah, I mean, definitely makes sense. Uh, no. Ever have to wake up for a bit or spend time getting ready to rest it? Mm. And like with any stuff in the city, it's not like we have to wait. Yep. I mean, doesn't Quinton <laughs> basically just have to make it so, and it is made so? Mm -hmm. um, so if you guys wanted to add your little spruces to um, Kara's uh, Bard College there, like your own, uh, yeah, your own recruiters or your own birds. Um, I think I'm just going to give her bards powers, to be honest. I want to give them a feasible power to be heard, understood, and believed by anyone. Mm. I mean, you know, cool. You could even uh, designate it as uh, a specific, uh, not specifically, but uh, 
increasingly anyone who might be considered soldiers, as that's entirely within your remit. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yeah, maybe, maybe. I do like soldiers, huh? You do. Think on it, think on it. Um, so what I'd say for, because it's mostly been covered by, um, by, uh, Kara, uh, spending the, the last of this, I'd say the, the two of you, if you wanted to add to it, two but Dominion each. Two Dominion? Because it's a unlikely bonus, um, that actually if you want them to turn to birds, yours might be, um... Uh, yours might be a uh, thingy, like uh, impossible, Quentin. Mm. But it would still be, uh, I think, the village size because it's a small group of people. So I think that yeah. would be three um, Dominion. Yeah. No, uh, village is one and then impossible is four. So it would be four Dominion. Oh, okay. Um, is there any way to make it three? Uh, then you have to make it improb village improbable with a resistance, I think. Let's do that. Yeah, so that yes. one will be three, and uh, Foxo, for yours, you're much more likely, so um, I'm going to go with Village, and... Like, do you want to specialize it to make it improbable, or do you just want to drop the one? I just want to make it so that any time they speak, people listen. Drop the one, That's... and that'll uh, give them a nice bonus. You can send even send some of your uh, fighters in that were there. You could even designate, if you desire... One of your uh, specific um, captains uh, to be part of this crew. Yeah, if they're going to go down, I might as well send some capable shoulders with them after I get done training them, of course. Oh, yeah, exactly. Please, please don't send her from the docks. That's <laughs> <laughs> my whole plan. Oh, they would listen, though. They would listen. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yes, I just want to give them a project I'm calling the Unwavering Voice. Mm. They can be heard. Understood and believed by anyone that listens. Yeah, it's not more. It's not like they have to. They can be. Meaning they can speak to anyone mm. in any language, and they will be understood perfectly, mm. without any like interpretation. Yeah, even if that person has some weird ideas of reality. Yeah, I'd say um, drop the one for it because it's village size and plausible. Sure, okay. Yeah, because... Like uh, we, the way lucky we're level 4, so we can actually hear prayers. So yeah. if they're in trouble, we will know. True. Uh, in fact, I plan to send someone after I get done deciding what I actually want to do. Yes. Um, so, uh, I, is that everything, Prof? Yeah, that's everything. Then, uh, I think, Foxo, would you be willing to do yours next? Uh, let, let Quentin go first. Okay, doke. Since you're deciding, Quentin. Yeah. So I spend the main time here building the or getting the dumb waiter for the city effectively, so we can actually pick people up on the ground mm -hmm. and get things up and down to the city. Mm -hmm. uh, what else I've done? I built the guard academy mm -hmm. inside the city for training the guards and making sure they actually have a goddamn proper education. Mm -hmm. Uh, then I have made the bird chariots for transporting people around town as well, and more like long distance travel. Mm. Uh, and then, yeah, I made my. I made Mini Quinton a mini mount. <laughs> ah, yes, the, the tiny. tiny the mini Quinton gets a little bird. Yes. Um, okie doke. Now I have also given the bats powers to transform into birds. Mm. Okie doke. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's a uh, uh, You've certainly, you've been doing a variety of stuff, but a lot of your stuff seems to be, um, you know, working with the city. Yeah, with, improving the city yeah. as a whole. It's, uh, it's like setting up a can academy, setting up transport, and a lot of the stuff, like, you have powers that specifically aid you in that, because, I mean, you can build uh, a lot of, like, you know, a lot of uh, stuff very quickly. I can build a lot of infrastructure without many problems. Yeah. So, like, you've, uh, you certainly, like, you get through those ones quite quickly. The birds take a bit longer because, they I mean, be trained yeah. And stop eating people, goddammit. <laughs> uh, they, uh, they definitely, like, you probably have, uh, I'd say you probably mix that in a little bit with your guards because they probably have 
like you know if there's transport birds they're going to be using them to patrol yeah um so that that's kind of like uh melds together and you do some training for the both of them and you um you can actually probably mark down somewhere uh in your group um, group area that you've got a set of um, uh, wing riders who are uh, like a, a, a group of patrolmen who uh, specialize in uh, in like bird combat basically like a, like a uh, aerial knights there we go yep uh, and, and there was, yeah, of course, just been going around doing like minor improvements to the city, mm. making sure there is like proper roads and whatnot. Yep, I mean that's that's stuff that you can do with your general uh, effort as well. So yeah, you know, it's uh, I, I am imagining that you basically just like this this maintenance has gone to shit, <laughs> like repairing the roads and um, my hands, and then there's a new road. Yep. Because uh, you you really do produce just lots of city stuff, but yeah. Um, Roads. And of uh, course, my guardsmen have also been trained in the art of falconeering. Yes. So the, there's the little birds, and then there's the big birds. Yeah. Um, and then there's uh, a very upset Potu, who is uh, somewhere high above the city. He knows what he did. <laughs> he knows what he did. <laughs> And he's going to be punished for it for a very long time. So so long, we don't even need to think about him anymore. So I'm sure yeah. the campaign will be by that point. Just just to check, you are feeding him, right? Yes. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay. There is uh, you going to want be. to make him immortal <laughs> so he can be forever too, hog. Huh? We're not going to kill him. We want him to suffer. <laughs> Death is off the hook, kind of stuff. I, I was just just checking, so it's it wasn't like oh yeah, we for, we forgot to feed the the, the prisoner. Ah well, who cares? <laughs> That's a thing. All <laughs> oh, right, we don't eat. It's like, what do you mean we don't eat? You sit there and I bang eat. for eggs all day. You guys put my notes, right? Uh, you mean yeah. the eggs? Yes. Uh, that, I actually apparently put that in. I nice. forgot that I copied eggs and then copy pasted really fast and then took all the copy paste and doubled it and tripled it. I'm, I'm uh, opening. Like, there we go. The That's one that actually eats. I'm opening this up so I can show this on video. This. Yeah. This image might be the screenshot I use for uh, 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 the, the video yeah. today. It's yeah. beautiful. You've done some fine work. Uh, <laughs> that's, yeah, that's, that's, not, that's, that's like 7,000 lines. <laughs> oh, God. By the way. Um, uh, it's not really hard to do when you don't. But above it is all my notes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, Godbound game notes. Ag, zag, 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 zag. I love it. Um, anyway, uh, so yes, yes, Aroni. Uh, was that everything, Quint? Yeah. Okay. Um, you, yeah, you, you get stuff done. It doesn't, it doesn't speed. You do a lot of little things, hmm. rather than like staring into the abyss of a storm. Um, so I am just imagining you just occasionally walk past Caro and she's doing that, like, you okay? And she's like, shh. It's blinking. <laughs> I'm winning. <laughs> uh, and Foxo, are you ready now, or do you need a moment? Okie doke. So, mostly I just want to know, um, all that money we took out of that thing, and, uh, where did all, how much was it? Oh, good, yes. How um, much would you say we got? No, uh, I will be using the Godbound level of, um, level of money thing here. And the one thing as well that uh, a lot of people forgot, and I will, you know, you're not all idiots, so Kara will eventually remember that she's holding the check for a man's life savings. No, I didn't forget. <laughs> I was actually going to make a point of saying I'm handing that off to someone else to handle. Kara does not do trade and finances. Kara I mean, it's not like any Anyway. <laughs> Kara or Quinton, which one do you think will uh, be the one to take and to get it? Kara, right, give it to yourself. That's a good idea. <laughs> oh, sorry, yeah. And uh, then eat it. Uh, Sado, uh, <laughs> Sado Quinton. Uh, that's actually a good question. I don't even know. Like, how much is it even worth in wealth points? You don't even know. 
Uh, I give it a quick reinvest it back into the city. I'm sure, that's <laughs> what he'll do it immediately. Or I'm something sure ridiculous, like buy birds. <laughs> I'm assuming we would have like three wealth or something from the looting. Uh, it's we... something. It's, wealth is weird. Okay. Yeah. So, between uh, the gentleman, between, uh, what was his name now? Kevin? It wasn't Kevin, wasn't it? It was some K something. Who are you on about now? Uh, the the guy who's Franklin, sorry. The, oh, yeah. him. Yes, yes that, that's whose like, life check you're carrying around, remember? <laughs> Do you forget where you yeah. got that? <laughs> oh, I know. I, 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 is he still alive? I thought he was like <laughs> time stressed by now. <laughs> Clearly still alive. He was at the trial. Oh yeah. He was <laughs> also oh my god. <laughs> it's. It, uh, I love how like, but both important, but also entirely like. Oh yeah, you are about this man. Like, it's just like I don't want him to die before I can kill him. But also, is he alive? Okay, good. <laughs> well, he's contrite, so I'm, you know, it's not fun anymore. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm just gonna point out to you guys. I, ever since I got healthy, my birth victory goal has been iffy. But I can't believe you forgot about Franklin. <laughs> I mean, I'll be honest, I forgot about Franklin. Frank, <laughs> how do you think Franklin uh, survived this long? <laughs> people's memories are weird. <laughs> I'm just saying, things. if he ever does end up causing upset again, I'm I am just gonna have to eat him next time. There mm. is no way out of it. Franklin and his beloved daughter Gretchen. No, uh... <laughs> <laughs> we do not even throw it. I got her fucking last name. I knew I should have done something with that chick. She was like, "Ah, oh, yes, I'm an insignificant little baby." I'm like, "Why can't I picture you then?" <laughs> okay, so between his wealth and the wealth that you robbed from the. Uh, the the temple um, like treasuries basically. I mean, you... robbed is a strong word. Rescued. Hey, we, we we requisitioned it. Yes. Um, I will say, you have wealth six right now. Yeah. Uh, between both of those things. Between the both of them, wealth yeah. six. So in total. Uh, a great noble, but one without remarkable wealth. One of the chief yep. merchants of a trading city. That's... Um, yeah. yeah, so uh, it's a, a lot of it came actually from... Uh, from... Freaking... What's his name? Kevin? No, uh, Franklin. 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 Yeah, a lot of it did actually come from Franklin. Um, but there was like a good... Like, he had wealth kind of... Uh, four. But yeah, like a good chunk just to push it up to the next level... Uh, was uh, from the church. Hmm. Alright, well, I was only going to do a billion, jillion things. Yes. Mostly it was all diegetic stuff, like, she's probably going to spend a lot of time making sure everybody knows what they're supposed to be doing, mm -hmm. uh, organize the council, mm -hmm. set up the appropriations, put up uh, appointments, do interviews, and in the middle of that, she'll be training people and... Mm -hmm. Figuring things out and building the walls. By the way, she's literally building gigantic walls around mm. the whole city, and she calls the walls mm. a ring of improbably resilient walls around the city. They rarely ever get scuffed and are bright white. Nice. Well. Not only that, but she just—I I think a little bit. She'd like the attention, so she's probably spending mm. a lot of time in public. Yeah, uh, they've actually probably started naming the. Uh, naming the walls Sage's Cliff. Oh uh, no, Justice Justice's <laughs> Cliff. Sorry. Yeah, yeah just because you are basically the face of our little triumvirate. <laughs> yeah, she's pretty. One of the charisma angle instead of the intelligence because I felt like it mm. helped, and it does. Yeah. Yeah. So the Justice's Cliff is what they call them, especially where uh, they do drop right off into the other side. They're mostly just for fencing, but they're also 10 feet tall, so... Mm. Or 20. I think they're two stories, so that's, what, 40 feet of fucking... I don't know. <laughs> I'm anyway. They build, like, castle walls. Mm. So kind of. addition uh, archers and shit on it. Yeah, they got murder. They're built with the war word in mind. Mm. Protection of war. Yeah. Um... Other than trying to f make sure everyone has the ability to run the city without them... Mm. Uh, making sure the temple's being properly built because she's gonna want one. Mm. I think we're all gonna want one. That means donating some money so it can be consecrated as well. Yep. Which she'll probably put down 
to be honest, she'll probably donate. Like, she'll want to talk it over with everyone, but I feel like Kara will jump the gun for, like, I want to give all my money, because it will cause, like, each one of us is going to have to give, like, one, and someone's going to have to give an extra one if we take it the six evenly. Kara is of the opinion of, well, is, is this is not, this is what it's for. It should mm -hmm. do this. Exactly. And if that's the case, and I have one wealth left over, I, I want to use it usually sometimes depending on what you're doing mm. you may use wealth in place of dominion mm. and i want to give that wealth to mm. the 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 bard roaming bard recruiters to say grab some mercenaries while you're at it so one dominion's worth of mercenaries which should probably be like regular soldiers but a uh, village of them yeah no it's fine with me all right but then Finally, um, other than the walls and the Unwavering Boys project and l teaching the four Braves medical training and teaching the four Braves how to actually fight, like, people, mm. <clears throat> I might... I have a lot of Dominion left over and I don't want to use all of it, so mm. I'll probably give them some kind of greater ability in martial combat. I'm just not sure what. Yeah. I'm, I'm stuck between the idea of giving them the True Strife first ability, mm. which would make them be able to burst into flames, I think, and <laughs> not burn anything they don't want to. Mm. Or if Hawk allows it, give them the bound word of fire, which is basically the same thing. You can't be hurt by smoke or fire, but they get to shoot the fire instead. <clears throat> it's not even as powerful, which is interesting. They get fire bending. Yeah, they get yeah, they get fire mm. bending, which is very nice, especially with who she is. Or I was gonna give them the uh, sword, uh contempt of distance, or steal without end. Mm. Meaning that they could fight anyone anywhere or that even in the air they could melee fight you in the fucking air mm. or they could um hit you with anything and you will regret it very hard <laughs> uh, I, or I, finally i was thinking of taking like giving them each the bound ability of the protection word which would also be nice but i was gonna give them to them anyway i'm just not sure if i want to give it to them right away. what do you guys think because i looked at the war word and there's just nothing i should give them you should <laughs> give them the path through wall Souls oh, that they're immortal. That's a great, it's a greater gift. You can't give it to mortals. Mm. Oh. So the options are firebending or what does contempt of distance do? I presume it means they can hit at a distance. Uh, yeah, basically they can hit anything as long as yeah, it's they can, movement range. Mm. Yeah, basically they can hit anything. It's it's firebending, it really is. I, I think the not um, only is it firebending on that level, but they also can manipulate fire as a result. I th no, no, that's a that's a lesser gift of the fire. Mm. Uh, uh, anything to do with fire it does sound very useful. But... It really does. You know, I was thinking of the consuming flame strife is basically the same thing. Mm. It's just that the fire doesn't burn anything you don't want to touch, but it's only things next to you. Mm. So they just burst into flame. Nothing burns unless they wanted to. I, I just need to be sure. Are we giving this to the bots or to someone else? No, no, this is my this is for the elite braves. The, ah, the, okay, okay. My direct people. Yes. Okay. I already uh, trained them to be very combative fighters, and mm. I'm wanting to give them a special power to make them like, hey, these are god soldiers, watch the fuck out. Uh, I mean, would... I think Contempt of Distance would be great. Contempt of Distance was... seems more thematically fitting as well. Would you, like to, uh, would you like to ask any of your lieutenants, actually? Yes, I will occasionally have routine meetings slash mm. dr drinking competitions mm. slash three-legged races, and we'll... Um, <laughs> talk, eat, drink, get drunk, and then try to run together. Team building exercise is very important. Wonderful. As well, it, no one, it improves... Dolores, she's kind of... No, not Mr. Dolores. What is her name again? Dolores is the nice one. Holly. Holly Blankenship. Yeah, no one wants to run with Lieutenant Blankenship. She's kind of a dick. Yeah. Uh, so I will allow you to pick three of your lieutenants, and they will give you a response on what they would like. I want to know what Johnny thinks, I want to know uh, what uh, uh, the scribe Miss Ellis thinks, and I want to know what Holly Blankenship thinks. Um, okay, uh, Johnny, it's like, he's ponders it a little bit, and then he just says, that firebending one. That would be good. Okay. Um, it's like, yeah, yeah, that would be a, a good one. It, it helps control, but it also it can protect, and it can attack. Um, the uh, what was it? Uh, Elise Pratt, you wanted as well. The yeah, Elise yeah. Pratt. Uh, Elise Pratt is kind of you know a little concerned, and she's like, I I also agree with firebending. It's 
It's it's just uh, got a lot more utility, um, but uh, it's not supremely one way or the other. Um, and Holly Blank and Chip's like, oh, that one that lets you hit people. It's we're soldiers. We're here for one thing: hit people. If we don't do that, what are we? What do you think of Lieutenant Hogan? Uh, put down the beer. Tom. Lieutenant uh, Hogan's the true neutral bouncer. Yeah, like, he's he's got his fingers laced together. He uh, he's just generally you know. Like he he stares at his hands and is quiet for a while. He's like, well, we need to put on a show to show them that we're not going to be intimidated. Lighting ourselves on fire is going to do more than just uh, boost us. It's going to make it so they don't want to come near. Of course, that's good for some of us, not for all of us. The, All right. the best middle ground would be the wielding the fire but certain individuals he looks over at Holly Blankenship like, would do better lighting themselves on fire or with uh, the ability to strike at a much longer distance well I'll have to consider it then and then I'll take a bit to consider it I'm gonna you know, take my time and think about mm. it tap my foot and be like oh, I'll probably just give him the firebending thing mm. to be honest I'll have to ask Quentin when he's not busy what he thinks and Kara as well do we have access because it's kind of a big uh, no I have if Hawk allows it I can use the bound ability of the fireworks since I the burning strife already kind of I'll, I'll allow it I'll allow it yeah, yeah I mean that may, if you have the ability to make yourself immune to fire and bend fire then yeah sure hmm What's Kara think? What Kara think? Kara would probably think of it from the angle of fire. Fire is one of the primal elements. Give your people mastery of it, and they are one step closer to fearing nothing. To God, I mean, it's what? like this like <laughs> moment where you're both drinking out the bar, and then Kara runs over and is like, "Fire! Give them fire! It's master <laughs> of one of the elements." You're like, "Steady on." <laughs> uh, there's yeah. a. Yeah. Fire I just like then. I'm just imagining that Benjamin Hogan is like, because uh, he's a bouncer, so he's in the bar, like, also, one of the lesser known and considered methods that you could utilize is the ability to snuff all the torches out during the night for a secret reconnaissance attack. Promote this man. I agree. I, I are, th he's already promoted. Promote him all. By I the way, can't. <laughs> I'll have my position then. And now you see why this man has fear as his word. <laughs> I like this guy. Give him a beagle. I'm trying. <laughs> guys, 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 guys. Hmm. Calm down. They're fine. Go find your own lieutenants. Honestly, Benjamin, that the idea of promotion just be, I haven't proven myself. <laughs> I'm going to give them the Juco <laughs> style. <clears throat> okay. And that's basically kind of bound fire. Mm -hmm. So the next thing they're gonna get lightning bending? Question mark. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Mm, but that's the thing, though. I'm not just teaching them. I'm teaching literally every single soldier in the yeah. elite braves. I mean, you're teaching them, and then you go to them like, now go teach them. Mm. Yeah, there's only so much this power can transfer to. So. It only can be like a thousand people at best, so I'm going to make it the core soldiers really good at what they do first. Yeah. And now they can control flames and shoot flames, so that's good. And they're immune to fire, as well. mm. completely immune, and smoke. I just wanted to give them something to say, hey, don't don't mess with those guys. They, mm. They're they god soldiers. You know? It could have been anything. Any of those abilities are really impressive. Oh, yeah, just... definitely. I, I just wanted to give you a bit of a feel for some of the people you're working with. Like. Gotcha. No, um, other than that, I think in spending the wealth, of course, to give uh, people higher mercenaries, mm -hmm. uh, well, higher, big old quotation marks once they find out what they're in for. Mm. Um, I have a couple of the menu points left. I might keep them. All good. Is there anything else we needed to do out of... Um, Everything I can't. I mean, you've think taken care of the obvious things like 
I mean, you have taken care of armor mm. and weapons and stuff like that. Yeah. Actually, I haven't. That's the only thing I haven't really I done. Because sworn you did. Oh, I don't. Know. I tried I don't know. multiple that, that, that's times. Mm. Um, and yes, Quentin has been armory and has been making, I think, stuff. Mm. You do. Um, you do have I, a I, smith. I, wanted, I do have a smith, but the problem with that is that I do not yet have the fact of him teaching me to master the magical arts of crafting or whatever the fuck he's doing. Mm. Um, you could just, you know, he has some wealth. Make me armor and weapons. Possible. Um, I think what I'm gonna do, yeah. I mean, if we, ha if we're spending any wealth to consecrate the uh, the temple, uh, because it needs four, right? Because we're level four and yeah. it's temple to all of us. I hope we can consolidate I, it. I will allow you to consolidate it. It's your main temple. So that would be one from each of us and two from Kara because you know, because Kara, Kara doesn't, doesn't sure. believe in coins. <laughs> <laughs> Kara doesn't believe in your one money. She believes in her horns. Mm. So that would be one left over, and I was thinking of, you know, hmm, you know, I might, yeah, instead of investing it in mercenaries, which would be, numbers is great, but like, uh, like a great war leader once said, uh, <clears throat> a well-trained and well-disciplined group is far more powerful than any group of well-armed individuals, much greater than linear arithmetic would suggest. So, I think I might just, um, make my core group super good. Uh, yeah, can I, can I... I did say that. That was Colonel Santiago from... Um, was... Uh, uh, Alpha Centaurius. I Myers knew Kingdom. it sounded familiar. Yes, <laughs> yeah, she she had a really lot of good points and she didn't steal anything. All those quotes they have, they mm. made those up. Like, yeah, don't fear really, the man. really, really good writing in there. It's, yeah, uh, fear, fear the... stuff is good as well. Yeah, uh, fear the group. Fear the man who wishes to wishes to keep information from you, for he is the one who knows the value of information. Oh, I kind of want to play out Centauri again. I know it's so good. <laughs> anyway, um, yes, uh, yeah. I think I'll spend a wealth point to buy them gear, but also I'll just keep the Dominion for now. Yep. All good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so one wealth, one Dominion point of gear, which. Mm. Probably translates to good stuff. Yeah. So we have what five gold left. Yeah, you should have one left. Yeah, because now we're you now we're spending four to make the temple. Yeah, four. So, yeah, there should so be one that wealth left over. Which yeah. you have. Hmm. Yeah. I do have a suggestion as far yes. as like um, this is purely cosmetic, mind you. Um, you were talking about the Hanging Gardens of Babylon as a kind of visual influence. Mm. I was thinking Angkor Wat in Cambodia, or something like it. Oh, yeah! I, like, it's just like a pyramid, right? It's like a swamp-bound temple complex. Mostly, yeah. it's uh, the, the foliage and that looks a lot more primal, which appeals to me. Speaking of, when I order these gear to be made, I want it specifically to be a combination of I think dark grays and purples, like mm -hmm. her colors, you know? Yeah. And have the big old the broken sword symbol on them with the chain. Smithson would personally deal with this. But, yeah, I mean, we could do, we could do a mix of, like, have it be more in the architectural sense of the Hanging Gardens, but uh, flora-wise be more of, like, uh, the other one. Yeah, that's the thing. It's, like, aesthetically looking at it, you're like, ah, oh, yes, that is some Terra shit right there, and then you look above and you see all the avian centers and stuff. Yeah. Um, I'm not really sure how you mix Satan. Maybe if you look inside of it, it looks more scary. I don't know. Well, it, um, you know the uh, the old uh, monk temple training grounds kind of thing. They could. Yeah. Yeah, they yeah, could definitely be. Like yeah, the open plazas, the kind of. You know, yeah, for what it's worth, in Angkor Wat itself, there are lots of like interior courtyards and mm. structurally ordered pillar work and things like that. So does that appeal? Uh, yeah, yeah. I think I think that would be good. That way, there's a lot of open air grounds. It feels like a place that feels like freedom. You know. Mm. Also, these are in Angkor Wat. Kind of what we're going for. Uh, would you be wanting to commission these of your generals? Not yet. Not, Not until yet. they win a war. That's fine. Well, commission them at the spot where they killed a bunch of people. Uh, uh, would you like to commission blank ones as a kind of these will be honored, these will be used to honor people? 
Yeah, sure. Let's just have a bunch of faces laying around. I like it. Yeah, I actually really like the idea of having this like smaller city inside the city kind of thing. Mm. Yeah, it does seem neat, doesn't it? But it's just like, yeah, the, the inner city is our temple and all. Cost? Do you get to the cloud district often, Quentin? Oh god. <laughs> what? It's all the cloud district. Do you get to the cloud district often? Just fucking. You know, Skyrim. <laughs> I'm I'm the DM and I want to jump off this cliff. Yes. Um. Yeah, I think that covers just about everything. Um. Uh, there was something I wanted to say and I can't remember what it was. Oh right. Uh. Yes. Prof, do you mind looking at Justice's army handout and tell me which group you want to send with you? Yeah, absolutely. With your bard. Sorry. There we go. Because they're they all can do <laughs> stuff. It's just some that are specialized. There, Sade so gets uh, her own little in inscription. Actually, you probably uh, all have a facial... Uh, yeah, 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 I like that. That would be neat. Like, hey, here's the mask guy. Here's Kara with the horns and mm. Sade in the middle with her hat. It's more <laughs> like the, the headwear rather than anything. <laughs> I mean, I just like the idea of having, like, the south being the entrance, then your temple is in the north, mm. Kara's in the east, and mine in the west. Yeah, that's... Mm. that's I love it. Like, because there's already one entrance, because we're using, like... The burned down grounds of another god, which is very appropriate. Yeah, yeah. So having it be like a smaller, a temple district almost. Mm. Yeah. yeah, that's what that's what you would do in D and D anyway. You'd have a temple district, merchant district, uh, dock, a work Noble. quarters, and nobility. Yeah. And I'm gonna move us over to three port. Uh, because I should. Oh, yeah. oh god, he's a big boy. Ah! Just kill him now! <laughs> Ooh, I just had another thought. Not now, obviously, but I would appreciate it if you just changed his portrait to a patoo. Oh, that's, that's very crazy. fair. No, I'll I'll do that. I'll do that as soon as I can. Thank you. Uh, yes. Which which of the my uh? By the way, those are the names of the lieutenants. If you go down, you'll see the names of the companies themselves. I like the um. Oh yes. yes. Uh, wasn't that the walk tolls? Yeah. By the way, tall tolls. Yes. Tall walkers are led by uh, Virginia Allison. She's a lawful good headmistress. Oh, she's the older lady. With yeah. a light. Oh, but she's not the oldest. Mr. Morris is the oldest. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> she's a dominant woman protection. The other one's strong in protection. Hmm. Uh, yeah, and uh, one of them's a cook. One of them's a headmistress. And one's a leader tactician. The other hmm. one's just a tactician. Yeah, I'm leaning towards one of the protection ones. I feel like that makes sense. Mm. That's what the, who they are. Uh, at least Pratt was something I was considering. It's just that she's very young, and I don't want her getting nervous, I guess. <laughs> well, would you be nervous if you're the god warrior, you know? Trial by fire, release. Don't fuck up. <laughs> yeah, get your fire. Trial by fire. What do you mean? I burn them or I get burned? Yes, not go. We believe in you. <laughs> you can always she pray if something goes wrong. Oh, by the way, uh, she has magical abilities, too. Mm. Yeah. Um, very few of my troops do, but that makes sense, considering everything. Yeah. I need to I talk think, about what school they practice, by the way. I'm very much like leaning towards Aline, because she's a scribe as well, saying that. Yeah, she's uh, she's not only a tactician, she's a scribe, and she's the tactician. So you see the special talent? Yeah. That applies to their type. So, a strong warrior, a fast leader... I know it doesn't make sense until you think about it. She's a fast tactician, meaning that she can make a plan ridiculously quick. Mm. It's exactly the kind of thing you want if you're traveling into territory you don't know and you need to react quickly to what people are doing around you. Mm. Yeah, unless you wanted to save her for anything particular, I want her. I just need... Okay. <laughs> you got some milk. I <laughs> getcha. Yeah, that's fine. Um, sorry, my roommate came home with my credit card. Anyway, so... Um... <laughs> Let's see. What uh, was I saying? Yeah, uh, Lise Pratt. The only thing I need from her before she leaves is mm. to know what magic she 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 practices. I'm just having a quick that look through the magic. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I have three people, by the way, Hog. So. Yes. Uh, yeah, you can you don't have to get the thing. Do do do. See, I just marked two areas real quick on the map. Mm. One is the Guard Academy, and the other one is something in the Temple District. Mm. The building. You. Uh, I need to put down my. Um, where is? Okay. My I... my my. 
military house. Uh, okay, so uh, here's where I start a fight between the lot of you. Um, who's going to be the one whose temple looks directly into uh, Daisy's office? Me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will fight for it. You, you want to fight for it? We can have a bare knuckle boxing match, I swear to God. <laughs> oh, it's it's I love the idea the highest authority is the gods, and when the gods can't decide, they just have a fight out in the gods. <laughs> and like, I get Daisy! <laughs> I still vote for, for hide and seek competition instead. <laughs> You think that'll save you? <laughs> yes, because I can move through the shadows, it'll be fine. It won't save you. <laughs> Or I can just leave the city. Oh god, it, it's, it's just... fine. Because I know where all of you are at any given moment inside the city. Thank you. I, I'm so just... That moment of hindsight letting him set those rules was a really bad idea. <laughs> like, maybe I'll come back one day. <laughs> uh, so, yes. Uh, sorry, the type of magic that um, Elise Pratt has is the Academy of Thought. God damn it, that's the one I wanted to. Mind oh, reading. I'm happy to be argued for one of the others. It's, if you're oh, no, 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 no. Besides, I mean, are they leaving after the month or before the month is over? This is in training at the moment. Yeah, like, I figured they'd be buggering off after we're done with this period here. Because mm. I can learn uh, every level of... Um, what are they called? Lesser smirk magics in a week. So I can become mm. a cram master in four weeks without needing to take a fact. But uh, I can only learn up to their understanding of the magic. Yeah. Uh, she is a adept. She's not any high, I'm afraid. She's still a okay. student. Yes. Can I get the other two, please? Uh, uh, yes. Is... Uh, the tailor, who... Um... Let's see... Grandmaster of the Cinnabar Order, I bet. No, I'm just, just kidding. <laughs> uh, honestly, the tailor is a hedge. You didn't even say hedge witch, you just said hedge. Yeah, he's a hedge ma mage. I love how we're affecting you with that Humblewood game. Well, no, that that's Warhammer, that is. Because they're called hedges. Um, Can I um, get his level? Uh, he is... Actually, let's check now. Hedge Mage. He'd actually probably be a master. He's had a lot more time, Mr. Khan, uh, to work with it. Um, so yeah, uh, he's yeah, and it's uh, he's actually uh, yeah, as a master, he's actually slightly better than it even says because it says the degree is rarely ever learned before the adept's fiftieth winter. So uh, yeah, he's before average, but. Um, yeah, so he's a hedge, hedge, uh, hedge mage. Yeah, he could definitely have at least Pratt after I get done with our private lessons. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Speaking of inappropriate relationships, that does remind me, I kind of wanted to start inducting um, Beatrix into the shaman stuff. <clears throat> oh, mighty hog, if I have the time to start teaching her those things. I mean, she's part of your church. You could use that as... Uh sanctifying your, you know, well, she would basically have to be part of sanctifying your uh, uh, church areas and just getting involved. Yeah, we, so. That's the best part, is that we can't do it. Mm. So she would be kind of, you, you probably would just dump the money on her and go, make it pretty, kind of thing. <laughs> like, yeah, they're the ones building it, not us. Mm. You had a house with walls, that means you know more than I do. You do this. <laughs> Hey, oh, hey Johnny, Johnny, come here, Johnny, Johnny, come here. Do this for me. Like, do what? At the end. like, uh, alright, yeah. Um, oh, by <laughs> the way, that's something I wanted to point out. When Johnny's on the roam, I usually rotate out by with, um, you know, which yeah. group is currently trolling. Mm. But I always try to stay next to Johnny, just because I want to be my assistant and bitch. <laughs> okay, then. I will keep that Anyways, in mind. Third magic user, and that's all I need. Uh, third magic user, I believe, was Holly Blankenship. Yes, actually. She... <laughs> I like, I like uh, wait, oh. wait, wait, wait. I think... Yes. Mm. Uh, Edgewitch Grandmaster with Academy of Thought and Cinema Order. Uh, the uh, Holly Blankenship is a adept of the Empty Way. That makes sense. Mm. Well, sort of. 
kind of well you're a sailor so you know you need you know, stuff like that yeah i mean imperviousness to a hot or cold weather ignore hunger and thirst for a day impervious to pain and able to fight on for one round after reaching zero hit dice this sounds like her does it not <laughs> she's, just she's just unstoppable only because she's so angry that's yeah that's her oh, uh, th okay. and that's apprentice weapon so uh, adept she's at she's um learned through doing uh, <laughs> I like the idea yeah, she... that she didn't even know she's magic she's like oh no i'm just uh, this is what we do He's yeah, a, so angry. <laughs> it's just a, I just have this lucky charm that I got. It's like yeah, okay. Do you rub? The... <laughs> yeah. Okay. So um, yeah, Holly Blankenship. She's definitely uh, yeah. She's so empty way, and she's definitely uh, more of a hands-on teacher. Though she does have that moment of like, you already know how to not eat or t or drink. <laughs> Hey, hey, I'm a hands-on no matter what. Things are going to get violent regardless. And interesting. Mm. And intimate. Um, yeah, uh, other than that, I think that's everything. I mm. want to learn up to the Adept of Academy of Thought, and I guess I'll learn the Adept of Hedge Mage. Yeah. Okay. This is only got like four weeks anyway. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you, Hugo. Yep, yeah, no problem, no problem. Because you're teaching them, they're teaching you, back and forth, building up a lovely place. Um, was there anything anyone wanted to uh, to mention? You know, here or there or everywhere. I covered everything I wanted. I'm going to keep at Jim until he agrees with me. I don't care what it is, I just want to be contrary as fuck to that man. Mm, do it. I mean, so I we, hate we it. need to send Jim with the bards. Mm. <laughs> Jim, no, Jim doesn't want to leave the city. Jim's, you know, Jim's not even been blessed by any of you. But he got a brand new wagon to sell awesome things from. Hey, I already appointed him like something. I don't know what yet, but I definitely <laughs> did it. You're appointed, Jim. Uh, appointed what? You're appointed. <laughs> um, I said so. So what happens? Do you not get this? So uh, you might also want to mark the thinkers as going with the bards eventually, um, because that's that's the the group. Um, so yeah, the the thinkers uh, have been paid in advance to head out there, and they're going. You're going to turn Elise Pratt, a fucking nineteen year old scribe, into, into a ninja. ninja. Yes. Like, You're correct. I mean, justice is like 19 physically at least. So, <laughs> no hey. matter what was going to happen, someone was going to get a little bit anime. Let's just make this happen somewhere else. <laughs> I have a question. Will you allow me to eavesdrop in on all of these people if I wanted to and they're inside a city? I don't yeah. see. Like, at least as far as the storytellers go, I feel like that. What would be the point of sending them out if we couldn't use them as like an intel source? Mm. Absolutely. Yeah, and just also if they get in trouble, they can just go like, "Hey, we need help here." Yeah. Mm. I think the gods come down like, "Hey, bro," and then just here in the distance, do 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 do, as the as the city just come moving towards. A little, little <laughs> tiny uh, Monty Python. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, it looks tiny at a distance, but when it gets closer, it's like, "Oh, it's a weapon!" Boom. <laughs> Just oh, put it's a flying fortress. Oh shit! Just put your sword in the the trumpet and just. <laughs> We can yeah. like, reverse <laughs> castle on the, down, on the other side of the city. Now here's some... So, um, most of our projects are then completed, right? Yes. Unless they cost influence. Cool. Yeah. I'd say your projects have all been piling up, because you have been working on them and getting stuff up and preparing them, so like uh, a lot of stuff gets I done smoothly. I actually spent all my minions. Yay! Oh, nice. Um, I would like to ask you... Uh, a few questions as it is uh, appropriate so um it is raised up as to as you are busy with all of this thing um it's been raised up that there again could, would really good to be a, uh, be a mayor around yeah, yes that's something we all need to talk about as i got all of them together and interviewed them over time yes I'd uh, say ultimately it's down to the two of you to decide that. I mean, you can I mean, you say, I know it's going to be, I know exactly who you're going to say. Mm. Like, one of two people, and we're both going to guess who. However, I do want my input to be that I don't think there should be a mayor at all. 
I'm still sticking to the idea that there's a council and they all are actually equals, just mm. to stop bullshit. I mean, there'll be other kinds of bullshit. I just don't like the idea of putting one of them over the others. Mm. But that's just me, and I'm not that invested. It is totally up to you. Yeah. Um, I kind of do yeah. agree that it would be better to have like a series of like three or four people who vote on stuff rather mm. than just one guy saying I control the city. Then uh, it's brought forward, of course, that uh, you know, who would be on the council? Mm. Like, well, we would have if, one if you went each. with that avenue, I definitely think you should have both Doms, because also I feel it's important that any council we make should hate each other enough that <laughs> while they can work together, but they're not going to start making power blocks. Yeah. I mean, I think one of the, yeah, as you said, one of the, uh, both the Dons have uh, uh, Wolfram as well, and then one of the farmers, and then one more person maybe. Just I would an like even amount of people. Put on that. I don't want to ride roughshod over what any of your plans were or anything like that. I just wanted to get the idea out there. Yeah, I mean, I'm totally down for this idea that we have like one from each, more yeah. or less community, be present. Justice. I think that might give good ins uh, might give mm. good security of the city. Where like, oh, we need to stop this, and the farmers were like, what about we don't do that because they'll ruin everything. Mm. Uh, justice. Uh oh. Um, uh, no, I I just saw a thing on one of the other uh, things. Is uh, Fox might cut out due to power flickering. Oh. Um. Hang on. Then yeah, I don't think we should make any more plans till we're all back on board because I, you know, that was kind of just throwing a wrench in the plans mm. there. Uh, I I would like to say just like not not forcing you forward or anything like that, but uh, also uh, Foxo, if you can't can hear us, we can't hear you. So just so you're aware, but yeah. Oh, there we are. So so uh, what do you think then? Oh, what? I was, I was here. Oh, okay. You you okay? We can stop if you need to. Fine. You sure? Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, we were just talking about the idea of making like a, a council kind of thing rather than a mayor. Yeah, that was the idea. Mm. We were going to make okay, a, cool. a person who was the mayor is like in charge of running the city. While it's a council, I think of six or seven. I'm not yeah. Sure which guys forget no no we're just uh, uh discussing over the who would be applicable for the council yeah, that they um they were gonna we're gonna get together and make sure that there was a group of people who could make decisions without us there with like a maybe a two uh two phases system where we have one guy who acts as the face and the other one capable of making decisions as sort of like a vetoing ability mm. or something i don't know it was like roman then if you if we want to do just the council that's also good the mayor position is not to be in charge, but to be able to manage things. Mm. What do you think I of that? I actually don't have an objection to that in that case. Okay. Um, yeah. So, I, mean, yeah. I was thinking something, as I said before, but you weren't here, but just like, yeah, have, yeah, we're talking about having both the Dons and, like, have a representative from each community be on the council. Yeah, that was one of the ideas. Yeah. The problem with it is that, which, if they all have equal power, they might have, um, well, we're in charge, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, you, you guys are in charge in the end. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah I, I don't think we need to say that it goes... I mean, it does pretty much go without saying that any power structure that we come up with still has us on top of it, and God help anyone who tries to contradict that. Good, no yeah. arguments. Um, I, I would like to say as well uh, that during this period, um, uh, what's... Uh, Atella de Sit has put herself forward again as taking over the um, hospital. The hospital as uh, the hospital is now starting to struggle after a month of basically running with very patchy, inconsistent uh, leadership. Well, we'll probably have done it before the month was up, to be honest. Yeah. But, yeah, but yeah, I see no problem in that, to be honest. We're just going to bother first to make sure she's not evil. Yeah. 
Which is a sentence. <laughs> which is indeed a sentence. So. We we will run her on her on a trial period. Mm. Uh, she, I think that's fair. So Atala would also then like to put herself forward as a potential for uh, a representative on that council. I also probably will approach a few other people. Anyone in mind? Not only, well, remember that first doctor we encountered and said it was actually Doctor What's his name? Uh, on the hey? boat. Uh, yes, please. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So we talked to a man before that. He seemed to know a lot about what's going on in the city. Oh yeah, the time. first old man we harassed in the middle of the night. Yeah, the one we didn't ever got the name of. Though. Yeah. He was with the church. Uh, he's not around anymore. Fair enough. Sucks to be him. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Anything. But I would ask one question to Atella to sit uh, that she wants to. Place on the council. I would like to ask who she would be representing in this case. Uh, she'd reply quite curtly, "Is like I'd, I would be representing the uh, hospital and the welfare of the citizens. We must, uh, we must not only uh, consider those who will be within the hospital, but those who may potentially be arriving at the hospital." Uh, we should try to minimize any potential issues. There may be uh, unknown. Um, complications due to our new elevation, uh, let alone uh, issues of uh, sewage management, which I've made a small three-part plan of, and then she starts presenting you know, the, the middle-age equivalent of slides. <laughs> which is just big posters. Yes. <laughs> Effectively. So she would be representing the hospital and the common folk? Uh, yeah, as, as more of a um, hospital slash uh, control of potential risks to the city of disease and similar. Yeah, right. Anyway, what I was thinking of doing was that we'd have a rotating council of an indeterminate number, no specific set. Mm. It, as long as we exist, we don't need to really think about it too much. Mm. We might consider replacing them every few years, but that's about it. Because the ultimate authority falls upon us, and we have way better reasoning than any human possibly could. Mm. Except when we throw our halberds or something. <laughs> <laughs> so who, who's, who's being reasonable here? You know? Yeah, we, we could uh, always be two over them with me, because I can just speak to the entire city, saying this is how it is. At mm. The end. No matter what, you will always be able to speak to the city, wherever yeah. we are, unless it doesn't work when you're not in a city. Yeah, exactly. Mm. So we'll always be somewhat mildly in charge, so that we can't be very hands-on when we're not there. Uh, now, the point of it all is to make sure oh. people feel like they're not being not represented, I guess. They yeah. want their opinions. And, and we point. also need someone to manage the more important aspects of the city, such as its finances, its mm. maintenance, the hospital, yeah, probably the that. church itself. Don has not done switch, but uh, Benny Foreman yeah. had suggested himself in that position. So I was thinking, more off, more over than nothing, mm. have Don, uh, Benny Foreman is sort of like the mayor, not the mayor mayor, but the person who manages the city. He's the ma mm. he's manager of the city, yeah. Which is what a mayor is. Mm. Yeah. Um, and then we'll have maybe the Elise Pratt woman, or what well, wasn't Elise Pratt, was the, uh, what was uh, the... Bellad yeah, whoever said that, whoever was that person. I tell just say, hey, we yeah. doctor. Yeah. We, we take a look at her because one of them is evil. <laughs> That's just the given. Mm. Just got to figure out which one first. And then if they're not too evil, we'll let them run the city. Mm. Not the hostage. Yeah. Sometimes you need a little bit, like Holly, Holly Blankenship. <laughs> I mean, she did pull the sword out of you. She did a good job, too. Mm. She's just kind of a sociopath. Tell us the one who found her dad's stuff, wasn't she? We don't actually know which one found it. We know that the one that pulled the sword out of me knew about it, mm. but I think they both found it. I, and the younger girl ran away, as far as we know. You know, According to her... If you're controlled by Hog. Yeah, well, according to her, if you remember, um, she was away learning medicine at the time of everything uh, going down. Exactly. And uh, she found it, and I was like, oh, this is actually very useful. I'm a very non-emotional human being, therefore I find it useful and not scary at all. Hmm. And I don't know what her sister did, though. 
<laughs> we then never find out, but that's because we were too busy dealing with having to abort a, a 90 year old man's baby. <laughs> no yeah. priorities. Anyway, I want to make sure if one of them's evil, we'll deal with it. If, if there's the one that is plotting, we'll deal with it. And if she's not too evil, we'll let her run the hospital because sometimes you just need that ruthless efficiency. Hmm. I mean, we can always rely on Daisy for information. That's true. And speaking of, Daisy doesn't seem to want power, which is very sad because she's very good at using it. Mm. <laughs> um, I was thinking that other than Daisy, other than Benny Foreman, we might want to take a look at that guy who's obviously a god on a block and uh, take a look at that um, take a look at the, some of the other people in the city that have mm. managed other things like Jim, like uh, <clears throat> Mr. Smithson and definitely Horatio Switch because well, he kind of deserves it at this point. He's a very mm. good marauder, if anything. Uh, there's actually two applications for, um, not really head of the merchant guild, but like head of, uh, finances. Um, one of them is Gaspar Tennant, who is the gentleman that you suspect yeah, to be a, yeah, a godband of luck. The other one is Franklin. No. Yes, I was no. thinking that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have a yes and a no. Quinton, your deciding vote. <laughs> my, my deciding vote on what? Uh, who would I will, be... I will put out there that this dickhead made money <laughs> off basically the slave trade before, and I don't think giving him power is a good idea. And yes, Gaspar... we're there to watch him, but I don't like him. And Gaspar Tennant owns the slums. He knows that Carol will literally rip his intestines out and hang them with him if he tries anything. I will agree under condition that if I don't like what he does, I get to open him. Yeah, well, so are the eyeballs. Perfect. Well, even tell him that in his application, uh, in his uh, approval application. We'll say, if you don't follow, if you're not a good person, you'll get to be opened by Kara. <laughs> just opened, in quotations. Uh, I, I swear, uh, say, you just see the saddest I know. Yeah. Like... So, we have finances, uh, internal structures, uh, right. the general uh, maintenance, the hospital. On, we I'm, also need... Um, I'm going to make a three-port... Uh, council? Council, yeah. Yeah. Uh, as a uh, handout, so we can... Oh. Like, and again, I oh, guess he does to... have the incentive to do well, because uh, he hasn't got a penny to his name. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, exactly. So the only the only other things we need is to general defense and you know policing and finally we need to give Horatio Switch something to do because we kind of told him we would and it would be very untowards to make that man upset. I mean, we could give him since he has the West the, the quote unquote now West Ducks. Uh, we could give him uh, the position of like export import. We could, yeah, we could make him a general manager of not only the area, but of exporting, importing, and rating. Yeah. Which is all the same thing. Would we discuss the possibility of making a privateer fleet? Or... Yes. Yeah. Mm. yeah, we did actually talk about making him a privateer between uh, the two cities. Yes, we were thinking of that make him, him the privateer of that water area because we just don't have the ability to control it yet. Mm. Yeah. We give him a boat, we throw it in the water, and say, good luck. Yes, call probably us if you build, need anything. Yeah, we'll probably build him a few ports and whatnot. Mm -hmm. You know, get him set up. You know, only if he wants to do it. We can't make the old sailor who got done sailing go back to sailing. You know, that'd be yeah. wrong. And in this case, we actually have to care about that. No, I do agree with that. Although he might be game for it if he gets to lead from the land, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, we can make I mean, a manager not that way on the land, but hey, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. from he his could just effectively be a commander. Yeah, the make him make him admiral. That's what I would do. Yeah. Anyway, we have that in mind, and all we need now is to decide on who gets to run these particular areas. Defense and policing probably should be Wolfgang. Yeah. Um, the medicine makes sense. Is the crazy sociopath that knows medicine. Yeah. Um, Benny Foreman can take care of the general management of the city itself because he's kind of good at that kind of thing. He's very nice. He wants to be. Take we have all management. Yeah. Uh, then we have. Um, what was the final one? You know, like Franklin. A, I think, yeah, Franklin taking care of finance and marketing. I wanted to say Jim should be the one taking care of the policing aspect, and Wolfgang takes care of the military. But that wouldn't make any sense. No, it should. It, it, yeah, yeah, no. 
I mean, I'm the one that takes care of the military, to be honest. No one's touching. Yeah, and I mean, Wolfgang <laughs> is the captain of the guard. Yeah. Yeah. So he takes care of the policing. Yeah, that means. What is? I just want Jim to be special. God damn it. <laughs> Jim works pretty well. Just internal well. affairs. He's internal affairs. He's customer service. I get you. I, I can he write that down. In, internal affairs. Jim. Yeah. Uh, that does mean that we need someone to take care of the defensive area when, well, no one else can when we're not here. That was something that uh, Don Switch did apply for. He oh. did. Well, we'll make him temporary. Well, he won't tell him that. We'll make mm. him the defensive person who just in the water, you know, the guy who watches. Hmm. And uh, we'll make him, we'll give him a militia of whatever men he will choose, and so on and so forth. And it'll make it very, uh, make it better because people know that, uh, you know, the switch is watching out for them no matter what. Yeah. Do we have one, re uh, do we have one for industry? Uh, industry? Industry, uh, industry? Yeah, there is a single applicant. Is it Smithson? It's Smithson. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense. I'm fine with and, that. You know, we'll never be overwhelmed by the job. Only thing we fucking need, and in return, some actual mechanics rather than just the diegetic nature of the city. Mm. Who's going to lead our church? Our church, not just our individual churches, but our in together pantheon. Do we have to have a single person doing that, or can we, we not have just to? It's more like you want to. Without it, you can just let them believe in whatever. But if there's no singular high priest of a pantheon, well. It can get very disorganized. It would be best we to have make, some kind of have a high priest. It, it, it's, it's not just the high priest. Mm. It's the fact that if we make him like say he's a high priest, they'll make it easier. But when we appoint our own high priest, we we'll probably can give him some power in return or horror. It would be easy with Pantus if he made it her. It would be best I if think... you had some kind of unified front in order to uh, come forward in manners of faith. Says Bandos Easy, he's... listening to the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Entirely come clueless. Here, <laughs> come here. Grab him. Brando, you're back. looking far too happy recently. I hold him like a kitten in the air. <laughs> Simba. The, um... I should leave. You can't. You're, you're, you're right. So, uh... I vote he is in charge of everything while we're not here. When it comes to church stuff. He's a man who knows the nature of the gods better than anyone we've met so far. Don't don't give Easy a choice. Yeah, he'll good, choose. Really. He just, he'll choose not to, and he really wants to. Trust me, right, Easy? Yes. See. I I will ask Easy the one true question: Is does he follow the uh, the law of the authority? Uh, is the authority currently dangling me from my shirt lapels? No, that's Wolfgang. He's not here right now. Oh, uh, oh, yes, Wolfgang. Yeah, um, he's... Do you obey the law, genius? Yes, I obey the law. Of course I do. If I didn't, I would be dead, I'm sure. Perfect. Oh, as, as, cap as captain of the guard, I now proclaim that you should... That for some rules you have broken at some given point, you now have to take responsibility by being the leader of our faith. It all worked out. Go! Fuck yourself. Okay then. Uh, <laughs> you know the carrots down. weren't free. What was that? Sorry, carrot. You no, know the carrots weren't free. Carrots run free. See, you stole the carrots. <laughs> see, see. Now you have to pay for it. Get out of my sight. Now, actually, you can go back to sitting down. That that was dramatic. Do I still Sit have to? Down. Do I still have to pay for my beer? No. Sit down. Okay, good. I don't have to pay for beer then. <laughs> he sits down. I'll pay for it later. Everyone will. Uh, so back to what we were talking about. So Easy is in charge of that then. Yeah, he's in charge of 30. Mm. Okay, okay, I have a dumb question. In terms of mechanics, what does this actually mean? Probably not much, but it just opens us to up to empowering him later. What we do when we when we appoint a high priest, we basically create like. Did you look at creating a sentient being from nothing thing? Yeah. It costs like eight dominion and you create all these abilities for them. That's what we do to a person. We say, you're in charge. You know, we give them un we give them not only gifts, but words. Mm. And we give them power and ability and hit dice and attack rounds and all kinds of stuff. Like you're talking about a next level nut badass. Okay. It's apotheosis, sixth level mark of the prophet, mm. where essentially just like you are the chosen one. 
Yeah, not only that, but you get you get to pick one big one, and they pick a bunch of lesser ones mm. based on your level. Easy might get something out of that if we it sets up stuff for him later. More it importantly, we just need like a head of the church kind of thing. It and I just want to yell at the high punter. The thing is, Easy isn't like he isn't going to be the Pope. He's going yeah. to be the the cardinal who sits next to the Pope and then talks to the Pope and maybe goes to talk to other important people. Like yeah. us. Yeah. Hey, the Pope says you're being weird. I'm like, fuck the Pope. <laughs> it's like, uh, he also says that is on the table. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, so really? Hmm. Right now, wow. right now, the highest members in your churches are Smithson, um, Beatrix, and Wolfgang. Yeah. The, the... Mm, fucking the Pope sounds really good right now. <laughs> Um, hey, do you think I could borrow Wolfgang? For what? Do I have to explain myself? I'm just curious. Oh, you'll be curious while you listen. How many kids do you want? I, I, I just have a position to deny get, you access to him. I'm just having a date. Jeez, guys. Yeah, but how many kids do you want? <laughs> Six. Make them easy. Easy splutters into his drink there. Though. Not you! <laughs> oh, thank God. Uh, uh, See, at times like this, I wish Kara's wisdom was worse, just so we could have that misunderstanding. <laughs> just, oh. Uh, oh. Oh, they're all easy. <laughs> oh, dude. Six but no, she really, she, of she's really... She's a 19-year-old farm girl. Of course she wants a family. Mm. <laughs> like, as much as she's trying to understand being a god, she still comes from that. But and I am in no position to stop you from going to him. Good. <laughs> I love how defensive that was. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> he's a grown man, for God's he's, sake. He's, <laughs> technically, he's, he's actually older than uh, than Quentin is. So he's like what, twenty four? Uh, yeah. How old's Quentin again? Uh, I think I said Quentin was like mid twenties. Yeah, so, so he he's probably near like in twenties, about thirty. Twenty seven. I'm, yeah. I'm not gonna say say doesn't want Johnny and Wolfgang to fight over him. I'm not gonna say she won't make them. Oh dear. Uh, but she's probably not <laughs> anymore. Wolfgang's too powerful. Now. Just Wolf Johnny's out, powerful. You don't have to have a culture where monogamy is a thing. I, I'm just <laughs> you, you are a goddess, so... Hey, I'll do whatever the fuck I want, and I want to Get make the fire me. <laughs> oh, okay, fair enough, then. It's so, so, you know, they don't have to ring you somewhere. Have to have... Uh, yeah, but I want him to fight. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think sword means? War? Protection? Come on, make them fucking fight each other! Do, do you really want me to be life. like gladiator ring and the winner gets to like marry you or something? Oh, God. Probably will actually happen later on. It's just like, I need a fourth husband. Who's up? You're too uh, tall. You're too beefy. I like you and you. Go fight let, each other. Let the annual marriage games begin. It will probably be an actual thing for her. But for some <laughs> reason. Sport, uh, Turkish mud wrestling. Oil wrestling, sorry. I don't know if you yes. know what that is, but it is totally a real thing. And uh, I wow. know it's, it's, mm. it was based off of Greco Roman wrestling, which yeah. is evidently oh, that explains everything. The oil, yeah. Uh, also, it looks as homoerotic as it sounds. For some reason, when you mentioned, um, uh, like, oh, I need a fourth husband, my brain went, okay, so there's Johnny, there's Wolfgang, and then the last person I put behind you for some reason was just Benjamin Hogan. Just sitting there with his fingers interlaced, doing the the kind of creepy but silent watching. That uh... I'm the fifth person for a wife today. <laughs> uh, and and uh, come on, like like anyone but Elise Pratt would do for you. I know, right? I we all we all do it. So anyway, mm. anyway, so, yeah. Yeah, we got, we got the, everyone set up now. Uh, uh, oh, by the way, uh, talking of marriage, um, at some point. Uh, a teller to sit does question Quentin whether he's had any more thoughts about that whole marriage proposal oh, thing. Yes. No, no I, I have been far too busy doing other more important things. Too <laughs> 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 so to confess talking to each other, man. Yeah, she, <laughs> too busy to think about you. She accepts without complaint. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> such deep love between the two business transactions. 
Oh god. I'm hurt. The option man, of a woman hurt. who is doing this as a business transaction or a city we just rose that needs clearly to be fixed so it doesn't fall out of the sky <laughs> again. You know, I I'm have not... priorities. I'm not even gonna think about this anymore. <laughs> anyway, yeah, um <laughs> other than uh, dating Wolfgang and dating Johnny and just making them fight each other at some point, decide who gets to be the first husband, I'm gonna. I think we need to abort the baby. And um, I <laughs> yeah, think we have we our did. council set up. We just need to check on if Eli uh, what's her name? The, the sit? Atella. Is Atella. Atella. Well, yeah, evil her than we think. Uh, think think of her like this. I called her Atella de Sit because it's like At Attila the Hun. It still makes it hard, man. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't know why, but my Elise, Elise Prime and Teller just said they just get mixed up. One's just younger and less crazy. Mm, true. Or more, just has emotion, rather. Are you are you sure about that? She, I'm she was relatively one, sure. She was one of the first lieutenants who cropped up, like, in your lot. Are you sure speaking she isn't of, crazy? Speaking, speaking of when the game is over, I need to talk to you about, well, more people should be cropping up. So yes. Talk about um, they will crop up, uh, certainly, uh, but yeah, the, uh, those are, like, your first special lot, but, um... Yeah, yeah, I, I, I know. Yeah. Just letting you know. Yeah, yeah, okay, so, uh, what, what next? That was baby pretty abortion. much everything but aborting the, the old man's baby. Yeah, we've got Which our we need... in place, people aren't going to starve, the weather's not going to kill us, the city isn't going to crash, but again, we'll get working on trade. Mm -hmm. That's Management all in place. Yeah, yeah, that, all that stuff seems to be pretty well in hand. Mm -hmm. The crazy thing is, we we'll probably have to do it within the first week, so if he explodes everything in the process... <laughs> I don't I'm like really having a freaking time bomb in the city. We could always no. just drop that house over the side. We could literally just drop it over the side, man. We could take the old men and throw them off the side. We need to. Yeah. This would be a great idea for everyone in the entire universe. Yeah, remember the whole thing about it would need a godbound to kill them so the energy would be dispersed? Just, yeah. You know. it's just It's just kind of horrible that we have to do it because yeah. we have the power. We're the only ones that can. If we so don't do it, the entire universe question. Is Yes, what's the horrible question? At what altitudes do bird die? Can we just fly him into outer space? Just like throw him in the <laughs> atmosphere. No, no, I mean I, I can command birds to do suicidal things. We will fly we him should, to outer space. We want to throw him at the moon and ask the moon's problem for a bit. I, I, throw him into the sun. I mean, the, the... I throw him into the sun, but I doubt it work. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, nothing like launching a potentially incredibly dangerous thing into space. That's... Yeah, that's not gonna happen yeah. at all. <laughs> Of any downsides. <laughs> when we launch out the sun, it definitely doesn't get the sun word and becomes the parasite of the entire sun. <laughs> yes, just uh, have you guys ever seen uh, The Fifth Element? Uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's not do that. <laughs> have you seen it, Foxo? I've seen The Fifth Element so many times, I, I'm offended that you have to ask. Okay, good. So you know the part I'm talking about, right? Which one? Because, oh, well, you mean the part where she, she he kisses her or like. Oh, that one where the sun turns out to be Cthulhu. Okay. Yes, <laughs> that that one where it's like, what is that? <sighs> okay, <clears throat> that's funny too because they treat it like a comedy moment. I like the best part where that guy, who the president was, like just fire nukes at them. Like, what the hell is wrong with you, dude? They're, they're like <laughs> they have way more power than you ever will. Anyway, so we're gonna go aboard the baby, and that should be our that should be lunch. Yeah, yeah. I think after the uh, forced abortion or forced abortion, as I like to call I think it, abortions are forced no matter what. Uh, no, I mean some people go willingly. Not the babies, but some people, you know. Oh right, yeah. 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 It's. I was it's... thinking the baby. Like, yeah, I don't. I don't think they get. It. Yeah, they they don't they don't get much of a decision. Anyway, that's a conversation. For another time. Um, <laughs> but yes, uh, you can all make your way back there. No problem whatsoever. They will lead you to the room. Are you telling them that you're going to be killing their father? I don't know. Should we tell no, it's going to be an accident. Besides, we don't even know if we're killing their father yet. We're going to try to keep him alive, but, you know. Yeah, yeah okay, fair. 
We're gonna do our best. Performing a, should we inform them that we'll be performing a dangerous uh, sur uh, surgery we'll or... So like, we will try and cure your father, but he might succumb to the surgery. You know what? I'm gonna say to this, though. Mm. We're about to perform one of the most dangerous divine acts that can be done. We can't even tell you what it is, so dangerous. But if it does not succeed, even if it does, he may not live. But we will do our godly best. There are some things that are just more complicated than you might realize. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's actually Melina who's taken you there that day. And she's looking down at her dress as she's wringing it between her fingers and seems to be like quite acutely distressed by this news but she nods as if this has been something that's been playing on her mind for a while now you will die regardless so we might as well try to save him and giving him a chance is better than him having no chance at all yes yes I do you say anything to him before we start no, he... he still won't see us. I... Would I, you like me to say it to him before? Uh... just that... we still love him? Even after all this? Understood. But no. And then, uh, when we go into the surgery room and close the door, I'm like, that bitch probably evil. <laughs> <laughs> Okie doke. Uh, he's still in his bed. Good news. <laughs> hey, so how are you doing? Uh, yeah, he shifts ever so slightly and the You have returned. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. I thought when the floor shook. It was finally time. But no, I've heard that is from you. Most people feel the floor shake and they feel it's finally time. <clears throat> That's a sex joke, I don't think anybody got it. Yeah. Please. <laughs> I know you got it, Tara, jeez. Alright, let's take care of this. A little decorum, please. I'm about so, to die. We might die, actually. But we might not, because we're going to try our best to keep you alive, just to watch you suffer a bit more. To be honest, I just don't have enough juice in my system to give a shit about any of this. Much the same as myself, girl. And let's, and let's rock and roll, kiddo. The man remains almost completely still and awaits you to do whatever the hell. When you want to, like, ready your weapon, Tara, you want to pre prepare yourself and... You know, actually, your, your, your daughters have something to say to you. I asked her, I asked them, Melina, before we started, if, you had, if she had any final words for you that you that way. And she wanted you to know that no matter what, they love you. I still do. Ah. Speaking for her sister again. What do you say? Speaking, Speaking for her sister again. What do you mean by that? I'm not sure love exists in Nutella's heart. You've mm. met her. I mean, she's not a bad person. Love comes in many forms. I'm sure you know better than anyone. Then sometimes it takes effort. Some people don't want to put the effort in. So let's pull that baby out of you. And what of my third daughter? I didn't hear that at all. And I don't think anyone did. And what of my third daughter? Her words. Th what now? His third daughter. She has three? Like, seriously, did he? Did we not know that? I don't remember there have been no, more than two. No, we didn't know that. This dickhead is just, yet again, ooh, I'm looking forward to Indalian. Gretchen has nothing for me anymore, does she? Um, 
Which one was that again? The uh, the tall one, the small one, the middle mm -hmm. one. Motherfucker, I'm going to really. <laughs> <laughs> That's not him. That's me. <laughs> well, you were like you're breaking up because you're. Uh, yeah, that's no, sorry. That 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 was just me laughing, not him. So yeah, uh, Gretchen has nothing more for me, does she? Can I ask you a few questions about Gretchen before we start? Just come. <sighs> um, you, did you do anything to her? Be honest now. This might be your last confession. Did she get any divine powers or anything? How would I know? Our memories were erased. Now I hate you. I really do. Pull the baby out of him. We know where she is, right? Do you know where she is? I thought she was still in the house. No. She was not anywhere in the house. We would know by this point. Fun fact about your daughter Gretchen. She got captured by the church, church and kind of sacrificed, I think, twice. And um, now no one seems to know where she is or can remember her or know her name or anything. No wonder your daughter has never mentioned her. The only people that remember her is me, Kara, Quentin, and you. And they they met her. Everyone's met her, but no one can remember where, who she is, where she is, what she looks like, or her fucking name. Uh, so, uh, well, that's a mystery I leave to you. I suppose so. Okay, I'm going to try killing him. so helpful in so many other ways. <laughs> they could have asked this. Yes, isn't he? I I'm no. so glad we're cleaning up his messes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you wanted a last name, Gretchen Desit. Yep. All right, time to like. Uh, okay, I'm gonna do the healing part of all this because you know I'm patron angels so and I have all that healing magic. Yep. I can't. Time to back backfire horribly on us. Yeah, what you I need what you need to do is make sure that he does get healing because he can't refuse mine, but he can choose not to spend effort on it. You know, to heal himself. So we uh, need yeah, to, you to double, yeah. okay, like, cool. we, need, we need you to pull double time on healing and abortion. I'm gonna pull mm. double time on healing and abortion, and Kurt, and Quentin's gonna make sure no thing sneaks up on us. And if we do get attacked by an undead baby parasite, that he can fucking hit the damn thing before we can react. So he. So what the d idea is, is that I'm doing the physical work, mm. Tara's doing the divine work, and fucking Quentin's holding action to attack. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Okay, so who takes the first step, and what happens? So. I guess we'll I to try to Sorry, you first. We'll probably give him a C-section first, after mm. numbing him up a bit, and then Tara will do the whole... <laughs> Okay, no. How do you how are you going to numb him up? I have no fucking idea. Maybe I'll pinch his nerves. I'm freaking god. Mm -hmm. Well, um, so please go ahead. Uh, I mean, if anything, I could also use herbal remedies because mm. I just yeah have so much magic kill stuff about that. That's so I'll fair. probably put him like a lucid. Like a non lucid state, so he doesn't really know what's going mm. on and doesn't feel oh, much pain. Pump him full of opium. Him. Yeah. yeah, opium's also a great idea. That's really gonna help. Let's do Black Lotus too, <laughs> guys. Let's just send ourselves on an astral dream trip. Yes. <laughs> uh, if, you, if you were a mortal, you would be rolling to see if you could even inject this guy because he is so skeletal thin. It's, it's hard Not. to find. Yeah. But you're not, so you are. Uh, you inject um, into him, and you hear a faint uh, noise as he uh, as he seems to relax. Now, uh, Kara, what are you doing? Ooh, uh, I actually didn't hit me get that part of the plan earlier. I'm trying to induce miscarriage again. Yes, we're going. Yeah, that's what. Uh, well, we're I'm going to try it. I just don't remember that coming up in the planning. Possibly yeah, because I'm. A you're going to try an inducing miscarriage as I try to, you know, gank it out of him while killing it at the same time, mm. basically. Okay. And then K Kara will approach. Kara will put her hands on his awful, awful distended stomach. And mm. Kara will pump all her godly juju into him. Yeah, do like that, but I'm going to be attacking the fetus. Okie doke. Um, so, Kara, as you uh, place your hand upon that stomach... And you 
uh, and you uh, use your power to attempt to force like uh, a miscarriage in this strangely, um, you know, strangely pregnant man. You see in front of you as uh, this, the stomach ripples, squirms, and starts to peel away. I'm still trying to do it. Opening like a wax flower. There's no blood. There's just the peeling of skin. Should have done this last Tuesday. And HR girl, you would be proud. <laughs> and there's uh, and a, a a a sudden lunge as this thing is attempting to strike before you can. Oh uh, my god. You gotta uh, find a baby now? Not even a real baby, like a pre-baby, like it, a proto-baby. The thing is, it's not the hand of a baby. What is it? I don't care what it is. It's still a baby, technically. What the fuck is that? It's just black pulp. Uh, Quinn, stab it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm like, I had a reaction. A man-sized hand emerges, and it had a ready action too, because... <laughs> And uh, well, we'll roll dexterity to see who goes first. Yeah, Always dexterity, Derek. Okay, let's let's uh, go for. Well, I don't have a dexterity save. I guess save would be um, this. You just roll the dice, and whoever gets the most bonus out of all of them, or it gets the least penalty, wins. Uh. That's if, if you got one with the alacrity ability, use mm. um. That you always goes first. Yeah, yeah, the one that will let you go before anyone can even move, uh, uh, the wind breaks free or something like that, they both have to roll a pose dexterity. What that mm. means is that they roll a number, and whoever gets the least amount of penalty to it, or the most number, wins. Uh, okie doke. So if you roll a 20 and you get a uh, 3 to roll against, you have 17. If you roll a uh, 15, you have 17 to roll against, you get negative 2. Well, here it is. Two heroes using this gift rules opposing dexterity attribute checks to see who takes their action first. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, I just roll my dexterity, or do you just roll 1d20? Uh, would be... Yeah, yeah so, roll your dexterity. And whatever I'm it's... Assuming I have no modifiers. Uh, no, no modifiers. It just your... Other than your dexterity modifier, of course. Yeah, yeah um, that just... Yeah, that makes sense. So that would be plus three is eleven. Uh, eleven. So uh, that means it manages its attack first. Um, as it lunges out, you will still get your attack. It's not defending itself. Uh, so it's just good. Kind of yeah, it like it it, yeah. it lunges out. Um, let's see. Uh, what's your AC, Kara? So, sorry it's to interrupt three. you, Hawk. Oh, sorry, yep. it's but, two. Sorry, carry on. I, I am the protection god. Yes. And I get the instant free ability to defend against any damage. I okay. I guess I don't want to defend. So it, uh, so, well, we should see if it hits first, but yes. That's a good point. I can uh, do it after damage, too. You can do it instant. Yeah. Which, after any roll. Yeah. Uh, ta-da. Whenever. Oh, it's, uh, oh, um, so that would be one damage, uh, I believe. Yara can take that. Yara can indeed take that, though. Let's not make a trend of this. As as Box. it's yeah, as its hand snaps out and like this gooey black corruption just seems to bite into your uh, your arm from the touch. It's it's almost similar to your own makeup of mud. And uh, not filth, but like decay. But it's it's like somehow worse than anything that you have. And it's hissing, touching you. Uh, I was and probably gonna hiss right back. Well, well, well yours is like the hissing of uh, ac acidic touch, kind of thing. And you're just <laughs> in return. Um, is okay. Screeching like a monster, by the way. Just wondering. Pardon? Screeching like a horrible demonic monster, by the way. Um, so when I think, look at that baby, people are outside are like, what the fuck is going on in there? Uh, it's it's like it's trying to, but it's 
barely got anything to breathe through, and it's like it's like it's trying it's it's a trying to have, be screaming like a, a baby, but it's drowning in porridge kind of thing. It's like it's oh, bubbling, it's very yeah, very viscous, just like you know, screaming kind of things uh, from within. As uh, more of the stomach peels back to reveal this horrible sight within him. And there's a lot hollow inside that man. Uh, so yes, now you two get an attack. Because uh, you two had an awaited attack. So please, go ahead and attack it. Its AC is 3. Um, I, uh, I, would, I would like to miracle. Okay. The miracle of hurt one target. Mm-hmm. Oh, the divine wrath? Uh, no, just, you know, the miracle that just says hurt a target where you deal 1d8 of damage per level. Divine wrath. Yeah, that's divine wrath. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Any word can be used for this, but doing so counts as a smite action, so it cannot be done two turns in a row. Yeah. So I would like to smite it with the night word. Okay. Uh, you weaponize the darkness around it to uh, smite it. It's uh, still in attack roll, I believe. Uh, on a single target. Oh, to save. Oh, because, no, no, no. There is no save. There is no saving throw against this damage. Okay. So, is it still an attack roll? Or no, it just does damage. I, what think I just inflict damage. Okay. This is that most divine enemies mm. have to be called defensive miracles. If you look at, at back at the miracle, you can instantly negate anything done to you. Yeah. Force that yeah. sub effort. If yeah. Yeah, the uh, with that, you can only do one twenty-one. I think it will. Damn. It will negate. So it, it uses an effort. It to uses an effort smite. to as it as yeah you you smite at it. It uh, it seems to spray just corruption out in at you and hisses as it uh, uh, as it just burns away at the spell that you aimed at. Definitely some kind of corrupt divine energy in there. Yeah. So yeah, most words can can't just negate an attack unless it fits with the theme of the word. Yes. Yes. This one is definitely decaying your magic. Yeah, if you try to defense leaving miracle meteors with the knowledge word, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you can word it right, most things are okay. It just it doesn't make sense sometimes. Yeah. Very rarely. Okay. Uh, Sade has uh, an attack. Can just Kara get to go over this? This uh, um. Well, no, we haven't entered initiative yet. There's no initiative. No. Well, no, that we haven't entered. Well, we haven't entered uh, like we, we had surprise attack. Yeah, it's uh, it's surprise attack, Kara, and you're surprising attacking it. I was just supporting. Maybe I don't know what you guys are doing. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. So I guess I'll reach in and abort this baby. I'm going to. Uh, uh, what is it? On turn. One moment. I'll be right back. Please don't die each time I get back, because then I'll die. Okay, ignite the pyre. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's a commit effort, not a commit effort for the day, so it's an on turn ability, right? Yes. yes. Okay. So I burst into flames, and then I'm going to grab this motherfucking baby and rip mm. it out, and that's going to be my physical attack. Mm. Okay. So I'll be. Um, it's AC is three. Excellent. Uh, I don't think I'll add anything onto it. Die, baby. It's a miss. Aww. Sink I rolled a one. <laughs> Sinking your hands into the mass of horrific corruption, you're desperately trying to uh, to get a hold of it, but it's like grabbing on to like to ooze. I can't even a miracle on ending blade because even that misses on a one. Ooh, ow! This lucky, yeah, well, lucky, that. lucky aborted fetus. Um, right. Uh, anyway, uh, so now we enter initiative as it is, which means you guys go first. Yeah. When so... Prof gets back, he should probably heal the guy and prevent him from dying, or I can. Yeah, I, I have a plan that I would like to execute first, mm. yeah. because as of right now, the, the sludge monster is technically still inside the person. Uh, yeah, kind of. Yeah. It's a pseudo. <laughs> the so can, I, can I use a road of shadows on it since we're in a completely dark room? 
Uh, what's and basically Rod teleported from inside the man to outside the man. Uh, um, the shadows. Yes. Well, uh, actually, yeah, no, no. It's uh, You're not teleporting through walls or anything, so yes, you would be able to. Yeah. to basically, basically just chugging it. it through the shadow of the boom and then out through a wall in the same room. I will say, <laughs> it's still. You, know, you will have to take Kara with it because it's still holding on to Kara. I just yeah. back down to here, take Kara with it. What, what, what? Uh, yeah, yeah. So we have the problem of the demon spawn still being inside the man, and I'm trying to move the demon spawn from the man to inside the room. Uh -huh. And Hargis like, yeah, if you do that, you need to teleport Kara as well. Because it's holding on to you, and they can't just yeah. teleport you away. Okay. So, um, is that cool with you? Yes, yes. Yes. Because then I will spend a an effort to effectively teleport the baby outside the man, along with Kara. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. fine with it. I like the idea that this world could have been us. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that's I don't think that is that an action or is that just something you can do? Uh, yeah, it is an action. Okay, oh, don't. Uh, so I think that's. Is it just one action? My turn, yeah. Yeah. My my brain sometimes with this like trying and to go I between. I can move if I want to. But, yeah. I mean, going between this and D and D and stuff like that, my brain's like, "Hi, do you yeah. remember how this happens?" No. Oh, sucks to be you. Um, okay, yeah, so yeah. now Kara or Sade, up to you. Who goes next? Sade, please carry on. <laughs> well, I was just gonna heal the guy because now he has a big old opening in his stomach. Yeah, exactly. I, I mean, if I can, I'm just stickly healing with my unbelievable speed and precision. But not only that, but imagine this all happening. This probably took place over four seconds. Yeah. It's just fast. <laughs> it very, very alien thing as it just lunges out and just drowns. Yeah, and then you see these three people, one of them dressed like a crazy person, the other two, Quentin and whatever the fuck say it is, all fighting it on fire. Yeah. Magic's flying and darkness is flying everywhere. It's like four seconds of intense flashing mm. of power. Doing the anyway. vicious stabbing of an antler. <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming uh, you're gonna Archmage heal the dude That's the thing though um, I think When you heal someone they have to use their effort I'm not sure if it's their choice or not mm. I'm not, uh, actually not sure So I'll have to check mm. with Hog on that That okay. depends on the, Some of the magic because for example uh, no, Second Spring only thing that doesn't is like it's frank. Mm. That's, that's the uh, only magic that doesn't require yeah. committing effort. It just on says, unlike most. Yeah. So they have to commit effort. Would indicate like... there are other things as well. Well, I don't have them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah, uh, you, you definitely he would have to commit effort for. It. But does he have to, or does he choose to? Uh, I think it's choose to, because otherwise you could just. Keep casting magic healing at your enemies until uh, their effort's gone. Makes sense. Okay. Yeah, that, that would be such well, a... Then I'm, gonna do I'm gonna do it the old-fashioned way with super speed and really quick hands and needles. Okay, um, do you want me to roll uh, something? Yes. Um, roll me whichever you feel would be appropriate for this. Dexterity, probably, but yeah, that would be cheap. Almost. No, no, go with dexterity to see. This is just to patch him up. This isn't promising he's going to live. Well, so. with the proper rangers fact, my check roll is zero. By mm. the way. Oh, look, I succeeded. Yeah. Okie doke. So you've managed to stitch him up. Yeah, like really stupidly quick and accurately. And they're still worrying and, you that there's no blood. Well, I'm going to start checking him. Let everybody else deal with the alien baby. They got this. They don't need the war god on their hands. <laughs> okay, so it's Kara. It's uh, fine. <laughs> Kara, it's your turn. What would you like to do? Cry, but no. Um, probably. I, oh, oh. Uh, uh, I just found it. If you if you used to cure hit points damage, however, the recipient must commit effort for the day. Yeah, and I think it's so. Um... I you could heal them. Yeah, that makes sense. It does make sense because mm. he, healing he them doesn't more. get a saying. If you magically heal him, it's just like you have to do it because you don't 
really reject the magic. I, I don't can't really reject the magic. I don't know because that's still that's still worded a bit funny because it's like it, it is, but at the same time it makes sense because yes, you could heal someone until they run mm. out of her. But if someone has enough effort to defend themselves, healing mm. them is probably the worst idea you can have. True, true. Okay, so Kara. Thing is, so if I like, do my uh, guilt thingy, it'll take my turn, I believe. Whereas if I just stab him with an antler, that can be done immediately. Also, remember, I can't miss because he just hurt me. Yes, just hurt you, so can't miss. A very useful um, ability. Yes. Question. Yes. Uh, about your guilt. What is yes. is it on or action? Oh, very good question. It is. Uh, buh, 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 buh. hang on, just a sec. Where the hell is it? Sorry, got too many documents open. It's on turn. That means you can use it on your turn without committing to an action. Yeah. Oh, really? It can be part of your turn, yes. But because it's basically a... If this person has been... If someone has been hit this turn, you can't miss. Like, you know, it's yeah. not an action kind of thing, so... Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, that's, I'm going to do that. Mm. Your guilty gaze thing is on. Is If it's on turn, mm. it becomes part of your turn. Yeah. So and uh, again, I might want to save the effort. Uh, well, so, for for what exactly? I don't know, but I feel better having it. I, well, like, it's on turn, but is it commit effort mm. or commit effort for the scene or commit effort for the day? Yeah, Which one is for it? the scene? Yeah, yeah, then yes, it would be actually. You know, you can't retrieve it. Well, do you want to? T I will say I've already said this thing's AC, so the AC is three. So, do you want to try and hit it, or do you want to guarantee and hit it? Oh, yeah, I... um... Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt yeah. again. I do it a lot, but no, the Avengers ability to uh, auto-attack someone back, that's instantaneous. That's constant. Mm. It's not a thing you have to do. They're talking about the Guilty Gaze ability. Oh, yeah, right. yeah. Uh, the the not hitting, not missing is just the basic function of the Vengeance. Oh, okay. Cool, If cool, someone's cool. you in the past turn, then you can't miss. Mm. Uh, yeah, but it's only normal attacks. Oh, it is normal. That's a yeah. fair point. Yeah, normal attacks. Quite right. Right, I'm smacking it with an antler. <laughs> Okie doke. Yeah, but that, uh, yeah. oh, that what? Sorry. That makes. I, uh, you you, you cut out just then. What was that? That makes sense. Yes. Yes. Go this I mean, goo. I'm just gonna have to roll anyway because of the damage and the uh, attack is packaged into the same thing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, make it, uh, uh, make it, uh, thingy, uh, like, 12. It's AC 12 to make sure you hit. Oh, yeah. Sensible. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, where's, where's the, da, da, da. so, one damage. It's something. Indeed. <laughs> and now it's its turn. Uh, that's, not 22. that's ridiculous. Oh, that's, that's a natural 22. You rolled a natural 20. Oh, cool. Yeah, you know, the one I don't need it, of course. I <laughs> right, Matt. Um, here, uh, also, second, third question, I guess. Mm -hmm. Can I have stitched him up and healed him if I can force him to be? Uh, yes. Well, I'm dropping an effort into this motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Well, he's dropping an effort into it, I guess. And he should be healed a total of... 26. Fifty-six. Okay, roll me Deal, two. Deal, bitch. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, that's not a lot. What? what? Shut. Up. <laughs> I'm trying. Okay? I know. I know. No, it's a. Uh, it's a good heal, but um. That's like Thirty hit points. While off. while you're studying him, I will say, like, you're not sure that he even managed to recover the full amount. Like this has been draining. Like, this has been, like, draining everything from him. He might not have the hit dice to drain, like, to 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 heal that much. Fair enough. If, if that, all else fails, I'll try to resuscitate him. Yeah. That's for later. Uh, okay, so, um, still holding on to, uh, to Kara. Uh, it is going to roll an attack. And AC is two... Modifier, nothing. Two damage. Here's a here, horrible question. Mm. Is it a worthy foe? Uh, a worthy foe is if it's hit dice is above your level, right? 
yes. Equal to or above, I think. Yes. Very much yes. Actually, if it's equal, it's a lesser foe. Yeah. But, yeah. Is it? Oh, sorry, I misremembered. Yeah. Oh, Just okay. wanted to know if I could more than four hit die. Uh, and since it's holding on, it's going to utilize its second attack to use corrupt touch. Yeah, yeah I'm sure we'll mm. love that on Kara. Uh, so um, a, a corrupt touch means that it's going to uh, basically do uh, its fray die as straight damage. Yay! Cool. Yeah, oh, let's see what that damage is. Four. Consider that denied. Okay, you're going to. I, I can take it. No, no, deny that. I don't want it touching you. Like it's, it's also used uh, effort for this, so it's a good thing to, to deny. Okay, so it does not uh, corrupt the uh, uh, the skin it's touching even more. Though, like you, you can see as it's like trying to spread this horrible black goop up Kara's like, arm. Yeah, the finger, like, <laughs> and then I go back to work. Okay, so. Um, your guy's turn. Is it Quentin, or who wants to do a thing? Yeah, I'll go last, first. because I don't want this thing up in my life. <laughs> uh, Krishnas, what am I going to do? Because I don't really have any offensive... I mean, I could just go and wag it. Yeah, Wagging it could work. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to go try and wag it. Okay. Uh, uh, AC of three? Probably didn't bring in my halberd with it because that would just be weird. Mm. So what? You what can always just throw it to. Yeah. Then you. I will allow you to have your halberd that Sage just passed to you when the door closed. No, I will use my brass knuckles because I keep oh. those in my pocket. Okay, you're gonna get corrupt <laughs> touch in a moment. Oh yeah, that's fine. I wish. Oh, oh dear. No. Uh, Jesus Christ, that's a lot of additions. But you rolled a three. Okie doke. Um, yeah. Sage? What? Well, your turn? Oh, well, okay. Um, yeah, if I see that he's dying, I'm going to try to resuscitate him. If he's not, I'm going to do something else. Is he dying? Uh, we're all dying, Sage. I mean, quickly. Um, it's kind of hard to tell on him, but he's not, like... As well, you've injected him with morphine. He's still I'm breathing. Sure be, he's still I'm sure he'll be fine for the next ten seconds. Yeah, he's still breathing at the moment. So, so I'm on fire, and I'm a tiny little angry girl. Yeah, you're performing on fire CPR. <laughs> oh, it's fine. He doesn't get burned. I know. I know. It's just funny. Okay. So I uh, probably not at this point. Yeah. This is interesting. I want to learn about what this thing is before I start murdering it. I kind of want to learn about it after murdering it, but I get where you're coming from. <laughs> well, I have all these abilities to read minds and no fears and all that shit right now, but I guess it'd be bad to touch the mind of some corrupted bullshit like that. Mm. I mean, there's no way of finding much, out. Even though I'm pretty much enabled to be afraid at all. <laughs> <sighs> well, there is, but, you know, it's killing Kara, so I guess I have to do something. All right, yeah, I'm going to uh, sw swing myself around and, f like, during mid swing, as I draw my damn sword, like, mm -hmm. as it disappears in my hand, I slice it down the middle. Thwack it. Okay. Um, what is AC three? Uh, yeah, AC is three. Now you should be able to hit this pretty good because that's a dangerous, dangerous it weapon. It really is. Oh yes. Uh, Oh, in the, in the middle of that, I would be activating Shattering Hand. Oh, is that the one that does max damage? Every time, yes. Okay, is that's that... four. So, four damage? Yes. But wouldn't you have to activate... The, and I'll be the one to say, but wouldn't you have to activate that before you roll, technically? Because it's an unturn and not an instant. I suppose I'll activate it next turn, then. Two damage. Okay, two damage. Um... Let's see, there we are. Uh, it's still a nice chunk that you've managed to... You know, you smack it right in its burbling, screaming mouth, and it, you bury... You fold its head back into the horrific amount of goop. It seems like it's still very much alive. You know, this thing not having much of a form is kind of uh, working in its position here. So, Akira. I have a question. Yes. 
if I tried to wrench myself free, would that be my turn? Uh, no, no, you can. Uh, it's pretty much holding on to you as kind of a, you know, it's because it's it's attacked you kind of thing. But uh, you can wrench. You, you can wrench yourself. Th yes. You can use gifts you haven't actually bought yet if you have the word. It just takes effort for the day, right? Uh, it, well, it depends. If it's a, um, if it's an effort for the scene, it takes effort for the day. If it's an effort for the day, it takes a, a two effort for the day. And if it's effort, like, whenever you want to just pop it in, then it's effort for the scene. Okay, that's fine. I just uh, realized there is a thing in Vengeance, which means I can do what it just did to me right back. Yes. And uh, I'm feeling grateful. If you want to pull yourself free, then just do me a strength check. Um, okay. You don't get any uh, bonuses. I don't think it really applies. Yeah, no, not for hating masonry, I'm afraid. Sadly, if only it was made of brick. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you you wrench yourself free and uh, yeah, you you. you and know. with a hiss like a kettle going off, she'll just give it a nasty glare and use vengeance powers. Okie doke. And it's basically it's blood for blood. Once per scene, a target a creature who has just inflicted hit point damage on you or an ally, mm -hmm. that creature automatically suffers the same amount as if. The, the, that they have inflicted on the specific victim within the past round. It is a worthy foe, so it does get to make a spirit save to half. Uh, okay. But I'd still like to do it because it's potentially four damage. It failed. Uh, it didn't actually. It didn't actually um, commit that four damage to you. Remember? But it did to Sade. What? To say uh, no. Protection straight up just says no. Oh, yeah, I just, thought it just. Oh, okay, sorry. So you'd be reflecting the two damage it did to you back at it. Okay, that's fine. It's still a good chunk. Still two damage. Yeah. I totally misunderstood how the protection word works in that case. It's... Oh, that's that's the thing though. I do have a lot of ability to protect people, and it's not just one thing. Yeah. Okay. Like I can even throw the entire thing out of the building if I wanted to. I just don't want to let it loose in the streets. Yeah. yeah I can easily do that. Um. So yes, uh, now it's its turn, uh, and uh, let's see. Yeah, well, uh, Quentin just punched it, so like yeah, to at least. yeah, you, you tried to punch it, and it's kind of like punching a bag of goo. So uh, it's it's going to immediately whip around and attack you twice with its pseudopods, as it needs to grab on before it can use its corrupting touch ability. Uh, what's your AC? Five. Five. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> uh, modifier it has a zero. plus 15 to hit. Oh, oh it's done oh. no damage. Lucky yes. Quinton. Oh god, it's that guy all over again. Um, <laughs> like, this is what happened with fucking Buckler. Just like, where's the damage gone? Um, second attack. Now, let's see. Uh, it's... <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, dude. Relax, relax. Pip, I am immortal. Pip, give me your address. Uh, I'm going to throw you out a window. Kill I'll kill it with my. Hey, I live on the first floor. It is technically possible. It. <laughs> you. So so yeah, as it's trying to like, it it does. It slaps you on uh on your armor and just that moment of because this is in the day. I'm guessing, uh, and it just seems like the the the. New guard armor is so damn good that nothing gets through it. Like there's, like it's trying to slap onto it, but it just keeps sliding free, unable to get a grip, and we can't seem to spread any corruption through your armor. Um, Everything is sliding oil. Yeah, it's it's like oil against the acid. So yeah, now it's your turn again, <laughs> as this poor aborted baby weakly slaps at the guard. Uh, <laughs> Who wants to go first? Happy free review to go. <laughs> hmm. I could smite it again. That is very tempting. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try and smite it again. Is it it's smite straight damage or is it um I it's, think uh, it still it, follows the damage shot. It follows the damage shot. Okay, so if you roll an eight you get a two and so on and so forth. Okay. It says otherwise that <laughs> no. It's uh, uh... I'm gonna need that damage chart, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, there's only one thing that allows most things to be straight damage, and that's the sorcery reward. But that's yeah. a whole other thing. Yeah. Um, so, my question is now will it negate it before I even roll damage? 
Uh, didn't you say they could only negate once? They can negate as many times as they want, but they can only do it once per round. In fact, uh, I don't even think that's true. I think you can only smite once per round. Uh, yeah, you, yeah. Gonna, you have to have like a cooldown can... time and then smite. Yeah, them. once every two rounds, yeah. and that's why you punched it. Yeah, defensive, defensive miracles are very different. They can be done instantaneously, mm. unlike other miracles, mm. and they can be done pretty much as much effort as you have. The thing about defensive miracles, they have to make sense. So whatever, and they have to be done by a word. So the character has to have a word before it can defensively mir miracles. Mm. That's why the yeah. protection word is really good because you don't need that like extra thing. Yeah, it's any damage. Mm. Yeah, and if it's instant, that means you can do it after seeing the damage, which is poor damage. Uh, it'll take that. Oh no! I don't think it just like encapsulate it in darkness and start crushing it. He starts screaming louder. Uh, Sage. Uh, I think I think Kara wants to go last. Hopefully to kill it with the bare hands. So here's a question, Kara. You have it in your hands, right? No. Oh, no, uh, I just wrenched away. Okay, so where is it? It's on the floor. Can I pick it, it up and hug it really, really hard? Yes. And then burn it with my fire? Yes. <laughs> nice. Uh, Hang on, just, uh, just want to give it that my affection, look. just in case it reacts like a child, and this works. And if that doesn't work, fire! Oh, no, 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 that's the best part, is that not only does it make it feel better, and it dies quicker, if it hurts me with anything, I'll just make it so only it can hurt me from then on out. Hmm. It's a very motherly thing to do, I think. Carol, we need, I need to get fire. these so I can give you literal bare hands. <laughs> <laughs> bare arms. <laughs> Kill it with your bare hands. <laughs> you have bare arms, or you can only bear arms. I can't remember. Mm. I mean, yeah, you have the right to bear arms as well. Yeah. You have the right I'm to bear arms, but you make it really bare hands. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm resigning from the pantheon. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, sorry. I'm looking for the night pyre thing real quick. I want to just check my character sheet like a smart person. Ignite the pyre, one d8 damage die before resolving attack against the added. Victim can yeah, suffer this damage only once per round. hit me first, but uh, it's up to Hog whether or not being burned alive does damage to them. Mm. More importantly, time to hit it first. Uh, it was three, right? Uh, yeah, three. Aw, oh, come Ooh. on, that's another one! You unfortunately do not manage to grab hold. Are you unfortunately? Fuck my... Mm. <laughs> this is this is inspiring you to get the luck word. Um, this is inspiring you to take the unerring blade ability. Hey, 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 I'm just saying, I literally rolled two zero damages in a row again. <laughs> but, uh, okay. So I tried to scoop it up, and it's like a little bastard at that. Yeah, it's slipping out of your arms. It seems confused. Especially because you hit it in the face with a sword. It was fine. It's like a oh. love tap. Yeah. <laughs> it's like when you bite your mom, she yeah. bites you back. Kara, Kara. <laughs> you can. No, enough with the conflict. No, this fucking thing is dying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, what I'm going to do. Sorry to keep asking this. Uh, mm. Eventually, the rules are going to stick in my head, probably. Mm. Um, so, on turn doesn't take your turn. It just has to be on your turn. Yes. Is yes. that correct? Okay. Um, the first thing I'm going to do in that case is commit effort for the day mm. to get a Furious Counter-Strike. Mm. Which means if it does start hitting me again, I get to smack it right back immediately. Mm. No matter good. what. And I, I like that. Two and Avengers then, uh, people slapping each other infinitely. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the infinite no, slap. <laughs> this is how new Vengeance gods are made. Just slapping back and forth until... <laughs> One of them gets pregnant. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, and then I'm going to try to stab it with my antlers, and I don't believe this is automatic because the damage has to be within the last round. Yeah, it's not done any damage this last round. Oh, by the way, oh, when you activate the Guilty Gaze thing, that does actually become part of your normal attack. Yeah. Because it's, it's a great problem. Yeah, yeah, it's just it, there's no mechanical advantage to doing that at the moment. It's a yeah, just... relatively small room. But yes, good to know. Thank you. Yeah, it's uh, considered magical, but it's part of your attack rule now. 
We haven't had any indication this thing is resistant to normal damage, have we? Not yet. It doesn't seem to be resistant being hit with a sword that's made of pure badassery. I'll just keep so stabbing at the antlers in that case. So it was AC free? Uh, yeah. Okay. What all my weapons are. It's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a f What is going on? Stop it, Hog. Stop mm -hmm. giving uh, everyone uh, in uh, your uh, stupid uh, Hog. Uh, okay, well, it's going to be shooting out some more pseudopods. Uh, one of them is going to Kara, so this is two. And the other one, let's see if that that's a hit. And two damage. Oh, hit me! I'll hit you right back, you fucker. Yeah, and the other one is going to Quinton. So if you want to roll your uh, attack in revenge, you get an instant normal attack in return. Okay, yeah. So it is just uh, I get to hit back. It's not an automatic or anything. But then again, I have taken damage, so it's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, so it is immediately attacked. Yeah, I only, it, that only just occurred to me as I was saying it. Thwack, thwack. Yes. <laughs> this is really good. It is really good, and I, I only picked it because I had a theme going. I didn't think it would actually be useful. So Quentin, <laughs> Quentin, you take one damage, and uh, uh, and 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 Kara takes two damage, and Kara gets to punch back. Hey. Ooh, that's a nasty chunk. Like, you, you, you star stabs it with both antlers. Yeah, just like you seem to skewer something deep inside. He clearly enjoys doing it. It, it wails in pain. Or the baby screaming, a pterodactyl screech, large explosion noises, kill it. <laughs> okay. Um. It's your turn again. The horrible part is that she's probably right outside. Listening to it's doing mm. this. So, should I just try and whack it? Actually, wait, can I make a miracle to impose a advantage for our attack rolls? How so? Because there is the hinder or weaken an enemy. Yeah. Mm. Usually, what by what they mean by that is well, whatever. You take the negative four on hit rolls or saving throws, typically. Yeah. Mm. Um, the interesting. Want... The... Go ahead. Yeah. The question is, just, can I word it in a way so it doesn't get negative to hit, but we get a positive to hit? Um. Yeah, you can. You can make it like the the darkness lay on it heavy kind of thing, crush it down on. so uh, basically like encapsulated so there's only one way out mm. so it can't really move around to touch. I will allow you to give in this particular situation uh, a plus two to AC to it, so it's yeah three a five instead of three. I will take that. Okay, but that will be your action. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and now I'm clean out of effort. Okay. Who wants wow. to go next? Justice. Oh, yeah. I guess so. I was just looking at stuff. Murder. Uh, okay. Sure. Why not? I will. Um. I guess I'm doing this stupid thing. Because <laughs> it just doesn't want mommy's love. It's gonna have to take mommy's rod. Both at the same time. <laughs> So its AC now is five. Did you that hit? Actually, yeah, that was actually the wrong attack. I meant to hit it with my sword, but you know, still hits. Oh. Yeah, you hit. Four damage. Four damage. I, I oh wait, that was my sword. That was my sword. Yeah. With vengeance, if you activate bloody vengeance and uh, the other one, furious counter strike, you essentially just like they hit you. You get automatic hit and full damage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's so beautiful. Uh, again, sorry, I, I'm not like taking the rules in completely. My understanding is you can't do it yeah, if you haven't got the gift. You can't do it for greater gifts. You actually have to have the greater gift to use, or is that not you right? Miracle them too. Anything. You can miracle everything within your word. Mm. Oh really? Oh, right. that's if it specifically states you can't miracle this, yeah. then you can't miracle. But that's the only situation. There's yeah. one or two that say cannot miracle this. A lot of situations. Only oh, core rulebook has one rule you can't miracle, and that's win the day. I think it's a luck greater gift. 
and many of the fear words, many of the war words, that, like there's a lot of them in here in the lexicon of the Iron Throne that you can't hear. Yeah. But he will say otherwise. You know, if I victory. realized that, I'd have been using bloody vengeance a lot sooner. <laughs> uh, so, um, yeah. So everyone, uh, do me an invasion roll. Oh, no. I'm just gonna stand there and take it. Okie doke. Invasion roll. Yep. Modifiers. Uh, none. Even though I can fly. Ah. Uh. You're not going to ex ex uh, get out of the splash zone that quickly. Fair enough. Worth a try. You man, <laughs> you do manage to get nice. out though. Okay, so. Well, uh, that means that uh, Kara takes two damage and Quinton takes one damage. Oh. oh, wait. What about me? I take damage. Dam you, take damage. Also you take two damage, yeah, because you tanked you. it. How's your, hit, how's your hit points looking? I'm fine. Yeah. I'm a 27. I'm a 22. Jesus Christ. Fine. <laughs> and then I was like, <sighs> okay, baby aborted. Let's go clean him up. Okay. Um, the man is still very sallow faced, very ill looking. Like, you, you patched him up, but you're not sure how long you've actually bought this man. Kara's not feeling very magnanimous and is just going to point a black streak antler at him in the... There, see? We fixed your problem. Gosh. I'm going to start cleaning up everything. I'm actually going to spend effort to clean everything. Okie doke. Like, and then go get the daughter. A, uh, a very dusty uh, set of armor um, starts walking and cleaning up for you. Good. Um, Good boy. Yep, so uh, the daughter is outside and seems entirely unmoved. Hey. I is everything okay? He's alive for now, though. He doesn't look like the surgery went super well. There was a darkness inside of him we couldn't remove easily. It might have... Well, you see what I'm covered in. Well, actually, they don't because I'm yeah. completely clean. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Um, you see, um, it was dangerous. Mm. And there was a lot of conflict within his body and his soul. It might not be long for this world, and I want you to say something to him before he leaves, I suppose. You may have your moment. Um, Quick she, question. If we're, are, we, if we're, are we giving them privacy? She does no. actually. No, she does say, could I please have some privacy with my farmer, uh, father? Quentin, you know what to do. When, uh, yeah, yes, uh, you can have your... I just there might be lingering darkness in the room. Can we leave Quentin here with you? He's very capable of protecting you. She seems a little uncomfortable at that moment. It's like, if you please, I I would like these last few moments with my father alone. Oh, can't can't Quentin uh, just keep us drop? Uh, All right, fine. Uh, you may you may spend your time alone with him. I, I have a quick question here. We, we agreed that she's a lesser foe, right? Yes. Oh. <laughs> so you're telling me that I could literally just say, of course I will be going, and then make myself invisible to her with damn their eyes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do you have any effort left? Yeah, I got two left in my lantern. There we go. Yeah, the lantern's a nice boy. Um... So, uh, well, I'll just, I'll, like, I'll use my Adept of Academy of Thought Powers to make mm. it look like quitting room, too. Mm. To her. <laughs> okay, do um, uh, and uh, is the dad also a lesser foe? Uh, he is now. Great. I will pump one into him as well so they both can't see me. That gross connotations. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, okay. Uh, you spend some time with them. She's crying a lot. Uh, she's, you know, holding on to him and... Um, like, you know, sh basically, you know, babbling on about family, about love, about, you know, wanting to do right by him, um, kind of thing that she, you know, uh, that she's always looked out for, for him kind of, uh, moment. Um, yeah, lots of just generally soppy moments. He's remaining 
almost deathly quiet by now. Like it seems oh, so like he, I was just going to say, is he less of a dick now the swing is out of him? Or he's is he not errant enough to. Uh... Yeah, no, he's. Uh, for one thing, he was full of morphine not men much long ago. Like this fight took maybe like a minute forty five seconds. Probably closer to twenty to be honest. Like, yeah, a minute of fighting is a lot of fighting. It really is. So. Yeah. Um, I did, you know, call me nasty if you want, but I'd be feeling a lot more sympathetic if the stupid bastard hadn't done this to himself. I mean... He completely forgot the whole context thing that exists, you know? I mean, yeah, that's that's why I, I made this guy. Jeez. <laughs> I get it. <laughs> but, um, you literally made him, so we'd hate him. Yeah. It's, uh, I like I like that like, dark shadow of the character's situation. But yeah, the... Um, I like the version myself cute little innocent person turns out to be the person that killed your father and is also your father. Uh, but, uh, it's, uh, don't think about that too hard with yourself. But yeah, so, it's generally, um, you know, crying, sad, emotional stuff. She doesn't seem to be, you know, doing other things that perhaps you might be listening out for. Like, I shall continue your work! You know, she's... Right. I, mean, I, I, I know it's not very likely, it's just, let's not have this happen again, literally under our noses. Mm. Right. Yeah, and now we're just sitting out there awkwardly. I think I'm like Gigi Nori. I mean, um, are you waiting for Quentin? Because she's not. Uh, Quentin I mean, knows no, the way Quint back. Okay, then I'll like see you later, Quentin. It's <laughs> just like go do our work, I guess. So yeah. you don't have to worry about that. We don't have to worry about Attila, and now we know who's a, who the evil daughter is. <laughs> the one who's obviously messed with the divine powers, obviously. Well, at least, well. One of the evil daughters. <laughs> I'm just choosing to believe they're all evil. In their own way, anybody can be argued to be evil. It is really evil. All it is is using the power over other people incorrectly, abusing it rather. Uh, Atella, you do meet Atella out there. She's seems to be waiting in the um, little like outside area, and she also kind of looks to you. She doesn't say anything. She just looks at you. Well, I'm clean and. Kara's not, that's for sure. Mm. Yeah. She's, Kara's never been clean. She's waiting for uh, news. She's more not clean than usual. Yeah. Kara uh, will uh, give her a look, and unless uh, Said is going to stop her, we'll just nod and say, it's done. Atella will nod. She'll close her book, which appears to be on anatomy. She's uh, uh, and place it to her side before raising her skirts a little, and this is the first time you've ever seen her hurry. Um, but it's not even, like, the mad dash of someone who thinks that maybe you've cured their father or smeared their father across a wall. Um, it's, it's more... It's someone who is, oh, my train will be here shortly. Yeah, she's, she's moving it slightly faster than usual. But this is the first time you've seen her go slightly faster than usual, so... Some instinct. The thing about sociopaths is that they don't believe anyone's real, so they have to justify it in some way. Mm. So they probably, on some level, level believe that their sister's real and she's important. To them. Mm. It's usually what they do. They either don't believe anyone's real or only believe one person's actually real and they only care about that person. Mm. That's almost sweet in a way. It is. It's just really obsessive. Yeah. Um. And now, yeah, so now the was, dad's dead, hey, so guess who's going to be the no, focus of attention, Quentin? Uh, <laughs> are we, again, remind me how this works. Do, yeah. we, can, do we have any communication with you, Quentin, or is it just a one-way thing at your choice? Uh, one-way thing of my choice, because I can yeah. choose to speak to or listen to people. Okay. Yeah. Uh, um, so... I'm, trying to learn enough, I'm trying to learn enough psychic powers to communicate with his mind back, but... But, but yeah, effectively, I, I have you guys in, like, very low volume in the back of my head mm. most of the time. Uh, so, yeah, so K Kara gets it about as much as I do, so Kara will just say the sister is on her way. Mm. Did you hear that? Yes, I will probably be I'll probably be listening to what you guys are saying at the moment as well. Yeah. Just, like, yeah. for exactly that reason. Mm. Mm. And what were you going to say, Sade? Oh, while well, she was running, I was like, hey, do you know... No, I guess not. I was mm. thinking about Gretchen. Mm. I never talk about her. I wonder why. I nudge Kara. I wonder why. Mm. Hey, I, I I wonder why. Nudge, nudge. Kara will look back and say, maybe now we should start asking about Gretchen. Maybe something will be different. Uh, 
<laughs> I guess, yeah. Um, I have a quick question here. Yes. Uh, so I posted the ability that I'm using in the chat. Yes, damn their eyes. <laughs> yes, if I understand it correctly, I only need to commit effort against worthy foes. Uh, yes, you do. Yes. Yes. So I technically still have two effort left in my lantern. Yes. Technically, I was about to say, like, once you can see when she runs in there. <laughs> it's a nice goddamn lantern, okay? <laughs> it, um, I love it. it yeah. <laughs> the lantern's not a sword to break your lantern in a fist fight. Uh, I mean, that's the thing. You got the, the broken sword, Quentin got a lantern, and Kara. Seeds! <laughs> the papoots! I forgot. No, I, no, that's I, not I what you it. got at the beginning, Kara. But we'll discuss that another uh, time. Yeah. You keep oh, reminding me of that just when I'm starting to think perhaps things aren't so bad. <laughs> you pick your times well. Wait, um, what? But yeah, I'll, be, I'll be hovering around the room, and the second that the daughter opens the door, mm. I will damn her eyes as well. Okie doke. Um, the moment she even fully gets in frame. Finished. Yeah. Uh, okay, so uh, yeah, she, she joins them. Um, she kind of... She's a... Much like the father, very wordless, standing beside uh, her grieving sister, who she places a, a hand on. She's not crying herself, but she's kind of wordlessly standing there watching uh, her father's most likely final moments right now. Gigi oh. Nari. Yeah. What do you want to do? He's just watching. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I am reluctantly it. observing. Okay. Kara, Kara will uh, look to you, Justice, and just sort of tiredly say, and there are three more of these, or something I like them. At least eight to three. You know, it's sort of well, a wild group without a few members then we should start working on finding them and getting rid of them more gone Gretchen she's, she's nearby and then the rest of them well we'll have people going out and we'll have them look around she'll just nod at that mm. the horrible part is that it just wasn't really all that necessary at all like they didn't know that but again they could have done nothing Op another option they could have done they could have just accepted the fact that sometimes you lose things and you'll never ever get them back the only thing you can get is a bus she tilts her head a little and says still the methods were foolish but I can understand why I think everyone can understand why I think in retrospect we, real we think we have choices but at the moment there was no choice <clears throat> <sighs> So, it still was very foolish. Hmm. Yeah, out of everything they could have done. They could have done it. They could have picked up a sword for all of them. He had arms. Yes, there were other options. Oh, Quentin... I think he felt Sorry. no choice. Quint but, yeah. Quentin, you've seen what happens when people picked up a sword against these guys. It it doesn't end pretty. See what a person that doesn't pick up a sword ends as these guys. Hmm. You saw my wounds. I was just gonna say, hey, we died. We get it still. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they get, we'll it, get it. it. Technically, the guy was more successful than you were. I mean, you he didn't die until now. Yeah, but we haven't hey. left a mess for anyone else to clean up yet. It took you he to kill him. <laughs> we're gods, and he's not. He's just a dying old guy, so I think we win this argument. Regardless. So, so how long are you going to wait before you head out? Because well, leaving. Putting... But I yeah. don't know. Uh, because um, Quentin, after a little while, uh, there will be a moment of stillness, and then Atel will say, "He's gone." And uh, uh, and and yeah, um, Melina. Melina, sorry, yeah, my mind blanked there. Uh, we'll let out a, a, a little emotional wail, and they'll both uh, they'll both turn. And kind of head towards the um, the door, heading out. Yeah, I mean, I'll I'll give the old man a quick like look over and 
just to be a hundred percent sure. Stop poking my corpse. No. <laughs> hey! You can't tell me what to do. Do you know what happens when people who believe in you die? Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> around us. Yep. Uh, I don't want to talk to him all day. Yeah, that's actually, who would, who, who would he follow? It's up? you. It's you. Yes. He believes in legality, he believes in the watch, and he believes in supporting this damn city. It's fucking beautiful. That means I can send him to hell. <laughs> actually, yeah, you can only send him to paradise. Uh, 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 you, can only, you can only, the only thing you can do with this man is occasionally talk to him when he has enough energy to talk to you and create a paradise for him to live in happily ever after. You know, no, it might be more forthcoming of information about how he seen will actually carry through with stuff. God always have custody of the souls of their devotee. They may damn their fateful debt to hell at their will. Oh, well, I guess you could. <laughs> <laughs> you do need information, though. That's kind of funny. That Quinn, come on, he's already dead. <laughs> yeah, I know. But yeah, they, they will hover unseen and sleeping in the presence of the god or are dispatched to the divinity's paradise. So, yeah. he will... He, the player says, let's at least try to get some information from him first. Kara says, damn him to the worst hell you can. <laughs> Kara, please second worst hell. I can't... There's worse people than him. But yeah, maybe could same place. Yeah, I mean, if if he says I should stop poking his corpse, then I will, of course, question him a bit. Okay. <laughs> what all questions right, do you all have for this man? He's looking a I... lot better. He looks human. Who are the others? The... Where is everyone? I Where don't... We get here? Where's, Where's Gretchen? Gretchen? Why <laughs> is it like this? How would happen? How did I come back to life? Please! I have answers, but I have to go, so I'll see you guys later. <laughs> it's, uh, okay, we'll leave it there. Think of your questions, all right? <laughs> we'll, we'll leave it here for today, then. <laughs> okay, everyone okay with that? Hello? Oh, dear. Oh, fudge. Welcome to the Tom Hour. Uh, that's my name, by the way. I'm not sure I've even said it before. Uh, so yeah, we're leaving it here. They can have their questions next time, and I'm about to stop the recording. Um. Oh, I. Oh wait, hang on. Hello. Hello. Hi. Sorry, my Discord Hello. suddenly went fucky. Um, it did literally sound like you ascended to heaven or something. Yeah, yeah, like just disappeared and faded right off. Yeah, that. So, um, you can add and think of your questions for next time. We'll end it here. Yeah, that's a good. Yeah, I, I gotta do some stuff. Yeah, that's very I'll fair. Watch. Like, you you've done this. You finished it. It's aborted. <laughs> clap clap. Um, you. <laughs> Uh, you can think of your questions for this guy before he goes to sleep. He looks much more human now, by the way. Like, this is his soul. Yeah. Um, you can see he is, Quentin, he is missing part of his left leg and his right arm. Hmm. It seems that keeping this thing restrained ate away at his soul. His, his what, right uh, left leg and right arm? Yes. He's, he's Edward Elric now. Yeah, I'm about to say, I'm going yeah. to pull Elric <laughs> So yeah, uh, I'm going to end the recording now. Everyone say goodbye. Goodbye. Bye.